BBB rated car dealer out there. Sell us your car. Give me the bin.com. So easy you can do it in your underwear. And now your fresh from Florida forecast with our friendly Florida farmer, Phil. How's it looking in the fields, Phil? Fantastic. Florida blueberry season is here, and we've got a big blueberry front sweeping through. Expect a downpour of blueberries in your morning cereal, a good chance of blueberries in your afternoon smoothies, and a high probability of blueberry pies for dessert. Back to you, Tom. Thanks, Phil. That's very good news. Look for the Fresh from Florida logo where you shop. There's sunshine in every bite. Do you have a life insurance policy of $100,000 or more that you don't need? Well, don't lapse or surrender your policy. You might be sitting on a gold mine. That's right. You may be able to sell all or part of your life insurance policy to Coventry for cash or a combination of cash and coverage with no future premiums, even a term policy. Call Coventry Direct at 800-411-8300 or visit CoventryDirect.com to find out if you're sitting on a gold mine. That's 800-411-8300. For over 25 years, we've helped thousands of people sell their policies. And we can probably help you, too. Call us today at 800-411-8300 or visit CoventryDirect.com to find out if you're sitting on a gold mine. That's 800-411-8300. Call now. Discover a career that matters at the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs. Be part of an innovative team delivering world-class health care and benefits to America's veterans. Enjoy robust benefits, work-life balance, and career development opportunities. Join a diverse and inclusive community that values your unique background and skills, a community where nearly one in three of your colleagues are veterans themselves. Apply now at vacareers.va.gov. Hi, this is Earl Ron, president of New South Window. New South is having a one-day factory sale this Saturday only in our factory showroom. 40% off energy-efficient windows and patio doors. One day only this Saturday from 9 till 4. Please visit us at NewSouthWindow.com. Every parent wants their child to find happiness in whatever path they choose. Florida Prepaid has a plan to help you support them by affordably and confidently saving for college. Our 529 prepaid plans start at just $34 a month, and you have peace of mind knowing that when you lock in 2024 prepaid plan prices, your payment will never go up. It's inflation-proof and further proof that it's the best way to ensure the brightest future. Florida prepaid open enrollment ends April 30th. Find your plan today. If spring allergies keep you trapped inside, then you need Navage Nasal Care to keep you breathing clearly and enjoying all the beauties of spring. Navage helps clear nasal passages that are often clogged because of seasonal allergies. Navage gently flushes a pure, refreshing saline solution through your nasal passages to clear out congestion, sucking out that springtime pollen and other irritants trapped in your nose. Navage is available online at navage.com or in stores at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, and Target. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Find out at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Someone's going to get offended. It's just the way the world works. So to hopefully save everyone a little time and or energy, here's this. The opinions that you hear are those of the host and callers and not those of... And on a Thursday! Good! Good! Hey. Great! Whenever yeah. you wear that shirt, I feel like I can hear that shirt. Like Let's I can go hear. out to the Let's lobby. All, let's all go to the <laughs> lobby. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, cute. I like that. Except right. for your shirt, because it's a horror one, it should be like a much creepier... Minor wow. key, like. Yeah. That's Did you say it's a horror to... shirt? Horror, horror. Oh, okay, it's just saying horror a lot lately. So just yeah, yeah. Well, when it, I'm it, talking it, about horrors, <laughs> look at all of us in black. All Can right, we get the memo. All right, yeah. We're regular supermarket sweep team today. We're ready to go. <laughs> Let's do this. There's thing. that. Yeah. Here goes nothing. Let's put our ears to the ground, our fingers on the pulse. Let's see what's happening in this great, big, wide world of ours. And we go to the world of sports, friends. Yeah. We know it. We love it. We follow every sport as religiously as one could. Did you hear just the 100% accuracy with which we attacked the NCAA women's tournament yesterday? Yeah. I mean, they're going to write books about it. 
Yeah, probably. Like and a magazine, maybe. Yeah, one blurb. thing we're uh, we're also very good at is the NHL. Hockey is our bag, baby, and Puck we get up. deep deep down into it. So let's start there and let's see what's happened at this NHL game where there was not just a fight 1v1 or 2v2 or 3v3 for that matter. There was a 5v5 fight right at face-off during the hockey fight. Well, I mean, essentially, it just started off as that, right? Before the hockey game started. Here goes nothing. Tonight, Rempe and McDermott. Rempe and McDermott. The hockey game. Both sides. Yes, All right, real quick. They just clearly wanted to get into it, right? The yeah. one guy, like, the, the the puck hit the ice, and he just threw down his glove and started going at it. It, it looked planned. Did uh-huh. they, like, the last time they played, uh, get in a fight right before the clock? <laughs> and, and it was time like, out. Just wait until next game. Uh, we'll asking. resume this. That's how hardcore hockey players are. They would be like, we said we'd resume it next time we played again, and here we are, so let's go. Right as soon as the puck hits the ice, the dude throws the gloves down. To open the hockey game. Boom, we're going. Both sides. This is our the other side as well. Jimmy Vesey. They're all looking for somebody to fight. Has dropped them with Kevin Ball as well. Love these hockey stances where they put one arm like way out, you know. Let's they're, go. They're doing, all right, here we go. They're swinging their arms around like uh, kind of like an Irish fighter or something, maybe. Uh, yeah, put your dukes up. I mean, I do appreciate this one aspect of hockey where it's like, mm-hmm. all right, you guys can duke it out. Yeah. Let's get it started. But then I'm very confused because considering that they all know they can fight, they don't plan it right. You said five versus five. Five v five. That means all of them go to the penalty box. Yeah, I think so. I wait for it. You would, Is there you would enough think that people to go back in? Well, it said the main event was Rangers forward Matt Rempe taking on New Jersey, uh, New Jersey's Curtis McDermott. So a main was, event like it was a fight card, like a yeah, title it, title card. And this is the Associated Press, by the way. But New York v. New Jersey may have been what led us here. And uh, and the fight just rolled from there. Now it's five on five. McDermott and Rempe exchanging blows. They're going for it. Dang. Off at the garden. Let me tell you something. I know how to fight a little bit. Okay, I've been in many fights in my life. But not on ice skates. If I fought on ice, I'm done for. It could be a little child. <laughs> it could be a little child with some rudimentary Whoa. knowledge of is, ice skating. Is this the first time in the history of this show that you've admitted that there's a situation in which a child can beat you? Uh, maybe. On ice? On on skates? Oh, my God. I, well, I'll extend that to roller skating, too. Like, I'm not if they're quads, good. I feel like quads you can fight with. You've seen me one time, I think, at That's least on, true, yeah. on roller skates. And I'm like, ooh, good. You know, haven't done it in so long. I'm just terrible at it. I would be easy to beat up on these things. What are the rules with hockey? How long are they allowed to fight for? Or do they wait until someone breaks blood? I don't know when they break it up usually. Hockey fans, hockey <laughs> uh, experts hit us up. It's hard to break it up when there's five different fights happening. <laughs> the, whole, the whole ice is covered in fights. What are we going to do? We're going to mix it up here. They're trying to break up what they can. Meanwhile, five fights going on. DeAndre Miller got the better of John Marino. Down. And they're just hitting at each other as best they can. I'll put that up on See It Now since, of course, it's a visual. Somewhere in that crowd, there was somebody who went, yeah, I guess we can go to the hockey game. What, you know, all right, fine. <laughs> we'll, go, we'll go watch the hockey game. Like, oh, my gosh, this was the one to go to. Yeah, it makes hockey more fun. We just can't get past it. I know sometimes people are like, we got to, can't do fighting in hockey. It's about the sport itself. It's so much a part it's of fun. the game, weirdly enough. Like, I don't know why it's it's so more much more acceptable in a hockey game to fight than mm-hmm. if you were on the basketball court and you started a fist fight. I mean, there would be like, there would be, there would be more news. And oh, yeah. Fun. We're only watching this because it's five on five. Right. right, but yeah. but it's such a part of the game that uh, I think I brought this up before because when we first got the N sixty four, me and my friends and we first started like renting games and and playing all the different ones. Mm-hmm. Wayne Gretzky three D, I think, oh. which came out in nineteen ninety eight. Wayne Gretzky three D. You'd be playing the hockey game, and then if you started to get in a fight with the other player, it would like switch modes 
to it looked like Mortal Kombat, where you had <laughs> you had on either side of the screen there was like the 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 bars that had Fight. how much health, <laughs> and it was like three, two, one, go, and it's like boom, 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 and it, you you start playing like a fighting game for a second, and then they go back to the hockey. Oh, I love it. Uh, it's a fantastic time. The Rangers went on to win 4 to 3 on a late power play goal by Chris Kreider. So, congrats to the Rangers on the victory Was over there, there. No explanation in like the post-game press conference for, "Hey, what was up with everybody just like starting a fight all at once?" There probably was, but I didn't see it. Sports, uh, baby. Uh, I only know what we got right here, all right? Right here right now. Somebody said over in chat that if there's blood, you get more of a penalty. I don't know if that's it. Um, well, straight up fighting, you only get five minutes. Is it? That's the penalty? Yeah. Five so I'm minutes? just wondering when it's they stop fighting. the fight. Oh, five for fighting. That's where the name huh. came from. Today, years old. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Had no idea until right now. I'm 16 for a moment. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, no. no, don't don't talk it. Uh, don't stop and take a pull in your big gulp. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's a solar eclipse coming, Only folks. So. <laughs> With any luck, it'll take out this radio station. Uh, <laughs> that will be done for. Uh, they said uh, solar eclipse tourism is going to be massive. It's going to be on uh, April 8th, which I believe is Monday when the solar eclipse hits and everybody decides what they're going to do. Now, have you, you have guys considered this at all? Oh, there, there is a time. I don't have it in front of me. That, I guess that show. heavily, the time heavily weighs into if we're going to watch it or not. Because I was going to ask it's during the you. show. Is it really? Yeah. Okay, well, uh, let's figure that out. It's when we're live doing the show. We want to watch um, it, don't we? Uh, yeah. yeah. We, we should do something or at least like, you know, one of us go outside or something. Here, or could, Can one of us go to the roof? Uh, yeah, but we're not going to be able to see much. I mean, really? I think I think like think of like the the actual solar eclipse where it's like you're if the moon is over the sun and there's just that little like outline of sun, right? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Now think of it if just there's like a little chunk, like somebody took a little bite out of sun. That's all we see. I think that's all we see. Oh, that's not as exciting. But man, we, we could still build it up and do something about it. Just be a what we need to do is we need to call our friends of the freak mm-hmm. and be like, hey. We're freaking coming. Yeah, it's happening. And then we do the show on their roof. Yes. And then then that's full four minutes of darkness. No, I don't know. Rochester's probably good too, though, right? Because people are headed to Buffalo and people are headed to New York to to go see this eclipse. It must yeah, be pretty but good. Dallas there. is in the path of totality. Oh, they got like a full on view of this. Okay. Well, they say the biggest US travel event of this year might not be Taylor Swift's sold out concert tour. Hey now. Instead, it could well be the upcoming solar eclipse on April 8th, which could see as many as 4 million people in the U.S. journeying to view it. Oh, no. Rochester's in the path, too. Look at Rochester's that. right smack dab in there. Now, wow. also, total eclipse of the show. That's very strange, man. So we split up. Who's going to Rochester? Who's going to Dallas? Uh, Get your coat on, Sabrina, because you're going to Rochester. <laughs> I'm going to West Palm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> here's the thing, though. Easy, I would busy. love to go to a place where you could see it and, and you know, the best way. Mm-hmm. But does, doesn't that also mean you're going to be directly on top of all the cicadas that are coming up from the ground? Oh, I don't know. Are they related? Are the cicadas related yeah. to the eclipse? It's hard yeah. to relate a cicada to this entire, you know, thing. Yeah, I didn't know those Just two were tied in. Yeah, yeah that's they could the whole be. thing. That's the reason why they're coming up. For the first time and, and in this fashion because of the eclipse. Wait, you're saying the cicadas know that there's a solar eclipse and that's why they're coming up? I don't know if they know it necessarily. It's just how the circle of life works, I guess. I miss this tie It could be true. I believe you. But um, I know that a lot of people are moving regardless. And then maybe they're going to get hit in the face with all these cicadas because they said the uh, solar eclipse is partially special. It uh, happens very, very, very infrequently. And hotels and campgrounds and places where the full eclipse will be visible have long been sold out. They think there's more than $100 million in revenue headed to the state of Arkansas alone for people who are traveling for the solar eclipse. So the folks are going everywhere. They said this is the equivalent to having 50 Super Bowls simultaneously wow. from Texas to Maine. Uh, only person I know who's doing anything for it is our friend Austin. Austin! Nice guy. He's 
He's going. He's headed up to somewheresville. I'm uh, told that in Orlando, in Central Florida, the maximum eclipse we'd see is 58% of the sun covered. Well, that's not bad, though. That's more than half. 58% yeah. is okay. Now, does it give us a time? Like, exactly. Uh, so we got four minutes. Exactly. Yeah, because we need to nail this. And we need to get roof access. And somebody needs to go up on the roof. Oh, God, do you have... I mean, you have I, your own roof access? I, no, or I you can't come to the station. I can't go up on my own roof. I can't... I mean, I can go outside. Courtney doesn't uh, let him go on the roof. Oh, no, Courtney. she definitely won't. Because the the top roof is so high. I said, what if I have to go up there to do something? And she's like, no. What are you going to do? A, Put up a satellite a, dish? A paraplegic. Well, like brush it off or something. I don't know. Whatever you do on roofs. Huh? It's, it's going to be some reason Jim to go Jim up Marie there. And, and, well, I would be the guy who fell off. I don't want to be, uh, you know, Artie Lang's dad or whatever. Whoa. I'm going to stay away oh, from too that. Soon, too soon. <laughs> no, cause not too soon. Come on. <laughs> of all the problems problem. that Artie Lang has had, <laughs> it's got bigger issues. Why are you bring that up, man? Uh, so, yeah, the hotel prices are soaring for the eclipse. And, yeah, that's the prices. only problem. If we wanted to go and do our show in Dallas right now, what's the hotel cost? Oh, my gosh. Let me see here. Hundreds, no, you just think? stay at uh, the Freak's house. <laughs> you don't have to sleep at the station like hurricane yeah. style. Stay with Ben and Skin, or uh, can we borrow Courtney's parents' RV? Wait, did I, hopefully I didn't screw up Ben and Skin because if I did, I'll, I'll really be hung up by the wire. <laughs> <laughs> ben and Skin is correct. Woo! Yes, all right. That would have been uh, awkward. I've listened to some of the shows over there, and I, I love our friends in Dallas. They're very, very good. Very, very talented crew over there. Obviously, uh, fighting the good fight in a major, major market in this country. I'm not overdoing it with the compliments, uh, am I? No, um, but they're great. Safety, and uh, we hope to uh, we hope to view the eclipse with somebody. Maybe them, but you're gonna have to tune into the show on Monday, figure out what goes down. Okay, prices on something else are absolutely unbelievable right now. Will you go? Will you try to see it? I think you'll be more tempted than you might imagine. What is it? That is coming up next on the news junkie. You're asking an awful lot of that magic eraser. For some extra elbow grease, tell your smart speaker to play Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. There's a bit of commotion this morning due to a couple of accidents in the area. Travel with caution. State Road 429 southbound between Ocoee and Popka Road and West Road. The right lane is blocked. Highway 1792 southbound at 13th Street. The right lane is blocked as well. And all lanes are blocked on State Road 453 northbound between State Road 429 and Sorrento Avenue. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Smoky Bones. At Smoky Bones, we say, let's dig in. Come sink your teeth into house smoke irresistible perfection. Like our Bones Bar Bites menu, with wings, burgers, and more starting at just $5. Smoky Bones, meat is what we do. Dine in only at the bar. If it plugs in, turns on whatever the make, get it all covered, because everything breaks. It's a fact. Things in your home are gonna break. Appliances and plumbing can cost hundreds to thousands to repair. Air conditioning, even more. Don't let home repairs break the bank. Call GoEverythingBreaks.com today and get a free quote for total home warranty protection. Everything Breaks covers major home systems and appliances starting at a dollar a day, including electronics, from cell phones to flat screens and more. Call in the next 30 minutes and get three months of coverage for half off. Plus, gain instant vehicle repair savings too. For a free coverage, quote now call 800 fix it 77 that's 800 fix it 77 one free call could save you thousands get it all covered your way because everything breaks limitations and exclusions apply see plan terms and conditions for details coverage not available in all states actual savings may vary based on the coverage plan and repairs needed call 800 fix it 77 online at go everything fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30 percent in 2023 if you're in a bind this tax season lifelock can help their u.s based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues and all plans are backed by the million dollar protection package which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. 
I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Sneezing, coughing, uh, stuffy nose, runny nose, post-nasal drip, interrupted sleeping. I just I was groggy at the end of the day. Allergies and sinus congestion were making Jana miserable. Then a friend recommended Navage. Navage provides immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus germs and other airborne irritants. Navage helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. Navaj gave me instant relief. I didn't have to wait 30 minutes. I didn't have to wait an hour, 90 minutes. I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to wait a minute. I just, I ran the rinse and I felt immediately, I felt better. Stop suffering from congestion and start breathing and feeling your best again with Navaj. N-A-V-A-G-E. I've had people ask me how I find relief, and I tell them Navage immediately. This thing is amazing. Navage is available at Navage.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. $5,000. That's the average amount of money people in the U.S. are now spending on gas in a year. Five grand. That's crazy. If you drive, you have to download Upside, the free app that gives you cash back every time you get gas. That's right. You can earn real cash back with Upside. Side, just by buying the gas you're already buying. You can literally start earning cash back today. I use Upside every time I fill up, and I've already made around two, $300. You're putting gas in your car anyway. Why not get real cash back? If you like free money, download Upside. I'm saving the cash I earn from using Upside to help pay for a vacation later this year. Download the free Upside app now to earn cash back every time you buy gas. Use promo code COOL to get an extra $0.25 cents per gallon on your first tank. You can cash out any time right to your bank, pay pal or a gift card for amazon and other brands just download the free upside app and use promo code cool for a 25 cents per gallon bonus on your first tank that's code cool for a 25 cents per gallon bonus prepare yourself for the experience of a lifetime with beat performing the 80s music of king crimson friday september 27th hard rock live orlando tickets on sale friday at 10 a.m at ticketmaster and the hard rock live box office if spring allergies keep you trapped inside, then you need Navage Nasal Care to keep you breathing clearly and enjoying all the beauties of spring. Navage helps clear nasal passages that are often clogged because of seasonal allergies. Navage gently flushes a pure, refreshing saline solution through your nasal passages to clear out congestion, sucking out that springtime pollen and other irritants trapped in your nose. Navage is available online at navage.com or in stores at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, and Target. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. In the 90s, New York detective Louis Scarcella locked up the worst criminals. Putting bad guys away. There's no feeling like it. Then jailhouse lawyers took aim, led by Derek Hamilton. Scarcella took me to the precinct and lied. 20 men eventually walked free. Now, in the Burden podcast, after a decade of silence, Louis Scarcella finally tells his story. And so does Derek Hamilton. Listen to The Burden on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Lost 80s, playing those songs you forgot you knew from the 80s. Tina Turner, and more, all commercial-free. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Lost 80s, and listen now. iHeartRadio. Free? Never sounded so good. A1Garage.com. A1 from day one. Real. Radio. 104.1. 
occupying the space between high society and prison tattoos. Secret Shows subscriber. Learn more and subscribe over at thenewsjunkie.com. In fact, it's good to visit every single day over on the website. You'll find all sorts of extra stuff, whether it's interviews or uh, additional streams. It's all there waiting for you at thenewsjunkie.com. So big thanks to Devilish 440. And we're talking about the solar eclipse that's headed our way on Monday. Some people freaking out. There's conspiracy theories out there. But one thing is for sure, and C-Lane was looking at this during the break, Sabrina, uh, the hotels are mighty expensive if you want to see oh, yeah. the solar eclipse. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, talk to me. How much? Oh, man. We're talking about, we're like, let's go to Dallas. We got an affiliate in Dallas at uh, the Freak, 97 won the Freak. We love them. And Or if we went there, we went to Rochester or other places where the show is here, West Palm Beach. Well, I think West Palm Beach probably be about the same. Vero Beach would be about the same as where we are now. But Dallas in particular is supposed to be in the path of totality, Sealand said, and it's not cheap to get a hotel to watch the eclipse. In Dallas, um, I, I, and I searched by check-in Sunday, check-out Tuesday morning, right? And they were looking at nothing. I can't, I can't find anything. In the downtown central district. Nothing's even open? No, no. I got 452, 484, oh, 655, 744. Uh, oh, uh, 998. A night. Wow. Or at the Ritz Carlton Dallas. Oh, $1,532 a night. Just book that. My God. Do all right, we so all let's sleep, say. Like head to feet or something like we're that. We're going to have to. Let's say we go with one of the affordable routes and it's $500 a night and you're there for what? Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday? No, oh, no. Wait. Just Sunday night and Monday night. Su- just so Sunday if we night. We go outside of the, the region. Like we can get a 352. A 287. Still quite expensive yeah, to just pricey. be there. And all you're doing is just being there where a natural thing is happening. That's it's wild. And even wilder, the conspiracy theories about the eclipse. I said one is that the eclipse on Monday will cover the entire Earth and last up to five days. Uh, five days. Come on. It's going to be I mean, four it minutes. Won't. It's not going to, but it would be uh, shocking if it did, and that's what people think is going to happen on TikTok and other places where people are generally stupid. Facebook. Yes, there, Instagram, over there, Twitter, yes, it. there, those places. I'm curious. Remember we had that discussion uh, last week, I think it was, maybe earlier uh-huh. this week, you yeah. know, if, if the sun exploded or just, just turned out, you know, like things that would happen. But yeah, if, we'd be done. If, it, if we just had an eclipse for five days, would we still be okay? I think we would survive. I think it would get chilly. There's been stuff like this, obviously. First of all, we have places on the, on the planet where it gets dark for very long periods of time because of where they're situated. Um, They don't generally have a lot of uh, let's say agriculture that, that, that works out in those places. So that's one thing that happens. The other thing is, We've had massive volcano eruptions in this uh, timeline of ours. And with those volcano eruptions, it could sometimes be weeks of pure darkness because the sky is completely blocked out. So we've kind of done little things like that. So I think we might be okay, but it would still be bad. It would still not be very good at all. And there's a theory that the solar eclipse will pass through seven or eight U.S. cities named... Nineveh. Now, I had never I've never been to in my life a city named Nineveh in the United States. N I N E V E H. Do we have seven or eight N I N E V E H named cities in the United States? Cuz that's a that's a new one for me if we do. Uh, they said it's the name of a city in Iraq that was described as evil in the Bible. The book of Jonah described how God demanded he go to the great city of Nineveh and preach against it because its wickedness has come up before me. And now they say all these cities in America, some eight of them, will be blanketed in darkness, and that will bring forward something. Yeah. You know? So, as far as Nineveh, we yeah. have. Uh, oh, we in- actually have some? Oh, yeah. We have uh, Nineveh in Indiana, Missouri, New York, <laughs> Ohio, Pennsylvania, Texas, and Virginia. What? We really have seven okay. of them? Mm-hmm. That's kind of wild. 
I, I, Sorry about you. Yeah, I I thought for sure we'd have like maybe like they're just by just out of coincidence be one of them, but that's insane to me. I don't believe the conspiracy. Just before you jump down my throat over here, I, I'm not a conspiracy guy. I only have my particular conspiracies, which I've mentioned from time to time on the show, but they're not even conspiracies. They're true. They just were thought of as conspiracies. And that's in what this conspiracy case, people would say, no, this is just weirdoville conspiracy. It's never going to happen. There's no science behind it or anything. Uh, speaking of things being expensive, if you want to go see what are these NCAA final four, or even the finals, uh, the last battle in March madness for the women's college basketball championship, my Lord, is it expensive? It is quite pricey to go see women's college basketball in the final four. Tickets running north of $2,000 this week. And they said the average price of a ticket sold to the NCAA women's semifinals with $2,323, while the average sale price for the men's was $1,000. Gentlemen, whoa, we're getting encroached on. We own sports. Even though I don't watch them, we own sports. We, We have the best of the best in terms of sports. Everybody's watching us. We got all the monies. Not anymore, though, because all of a sudden now, for NCAA women's basketball, Caitlin Clark and all else in tow, there's a lot of people who want to go. $2,323 average women price agenda. for tickets to the semifinals. If Caitlin Clark wasn't there, I don't think it would be anywhere near this. I think it, this has drawn so much attention to the league, which is super good for them. They ought to strike while all the irons are hot right now. Clark Reese, Angel Reese, that is, of Louisiana State University, who's headed to the WNBA. She's on her way to making $79,000 a year, which is a good amount of money if you're anything but a pro athlete. The higher prices are also partially due to the more limited supply of tickets, seating capacity at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse in Cleveland, where both women's finals games will be played, is 19,423. For the men's games, it's a 63,400-seat arena. So as you can see, the men will still bring in more revenue, even with the lower price per ticket. With <sighs> If God. they fill those seats, thank God. The guys stay on top. We can't let the women surpass us here. Jesus Christ. There's too much going on out there. Men, to even men, 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 men. Oh, that sounded good. <laughs> thank you. We nailed it. We did our best, you know. Uh, tips of the news, junkie.com and carry emails. Speaking of the WNBA. I am sorry, new to listening, sad face, says Carrie, but the WNBA is barely talked about, and that is the problem. Turn on SportsCenter or ESPN. They talk about college basketball and pro basketball, but they hardly ever talk about the WNBA. Now, I'll pause here, Carrie. Is that because WNBA equals boring or because there's like an agenda against the WNBA? It has to be one of those two things, right? One would think. I hear about Caitlin Clark every day on television, just saying if WNBA have talent, why aren't they boosted on television? Maybe that should be the question, says Carrie. What do you think? Respond to her with an email to tips at thenewsjunkie.com or a dispatch over on the website, thenewsjunkie.com. Patrick emails. He says, oh, we're talking about earthquakes this week because that one in Taiwan was crazy, man. What, a, what an experience it was just watching what happened there. Uh, if you missed the videos, they're up on see it now on the news junkie.com. And Patrick says, Hey, Sean, I grew up in the desert in California and we had earthquakes all the time in school. They told us to get under the desks, but it happened pretty regularly. However, my wife and I were on a layover in Ecuador, staying on the 14th floor of an apartment building. She was in the shower and I was on the bed as the whole world started to shake. We called out to each other and she asked what to do. I said, get in the doorway with me. And we made passionate love as the world ended. JK, she just stayed in the shower and I looked out the window, he said. Everybody on the street was just walking around like nothing was happening and the dogs were barking like crazy. The building shook and swayed, but I looked it up and they get them all the time there. This was a seven, he said. Something like 20,000, 20K away. I don't know what that means. 20 kilometers away, probably. Mm -hmm. Some places just deal with it all the time. Have a good one, says Patrick. Well, thank you for the email. Patrick, we talk about miles here in America. Yeah. Is America We don't have time to calculate. Thank you. All I know is the kilometers are smaller than miles. All right? All I know is a 5K is doable for me. Because a five I can M? make it that far. Not so much. 5M, I can't even consider, all right? Unless it's just like a day of walking at a theme park or something. 
Let's see what you got going on, because you are sending us those dispatches at thenewsjunkie.com, and uh, we got some. Oh, this is uh, from somebody named Red Dragon. Does that ring a bell to anybody? Just Red Dragon alone? Uh, no. Should ring a bell to one of us as I take a look at Red Dragon's photo dispatch. Peer in over here on the laptop, C-Lane, All right. to see Red Dragon. Oh, yes, I do. And Sweet Sabrina. Man. Over at the Pride game, uh, he said. And he was like, it was nice to meet Sabrina out of the Pride game. That's we a got a picture pick. together. It was a great picture. It turned out fantastic. Uh, you could send your photo dispatches in as well in case you have any encounters in the wild. or just something you want to show us. Here's Skyrave talking about the eclipse glasses. If you all do decide to watch the eclipse, please make sure that you use special eclipse glasses. Please make sure they're certified. And please make sure that they are not expired. Some people get expired. eclipse glasses and do not know that they expire. Hmm. But after certain exposure to light, they can uh, expire. So please be sure to um, be safe out there when watching the eclipse. Love y'all. Yeah, that's good advice. I didn't even know they expired. I didn't even know that that was an actual thing. Mine are. And now we got I'm something scared else to I worry mix about. them up with like the rave glasses I have and then I'm going to do triple damage to my eye, but it'll look cool. We have those like really, you know, just red cardboard ones with the eclipse stuff. Sent them to us. They did, you know, yeah. Solar source? Yeah, they're well, bringing some in. Because at that last solar eclipse, when nobody actually had them at that point, because we hadn't talked about eclipses in a while, they were selling them on eBay and stuff. They were really hard to get. You couldn't get them on Amazon. They were high demand at that point. Now, I don't know if they are so much. This is usually around the time like uh, that at some family-owned store. A lot of times, it's a hardware store, like your Ace. You go to Ace, they'll probably have like a stack of glasses for a buck a piece yeah that they spent two cents a piece on they're like oh I'll just sell some glasses the uh, eclipse is coming and you don't have to have something fancy those work just fine or at least i think so quick break we want to hear from you lots of other people chiming in about the solar eclipse coming up on monday we'll see what they are saying maybe you guys are battling it out back and forth all of that coming up in just a moment go to the news and hit record on your first dispatch right now when we return they're taking something away from you you enjoy it. Our jobs. You're just trying to enjoy yourself and your life out there. It's tough enough. And now they're taking something away from you. What is it? That is coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is the Jim Colbert Show. Have you ever been come on to by someone really older than you? Yes. Yeah, I don't think I've 42. ever. 42. I've never done that. I've never, I've never like hooked up with somebody like considerably older than me. That's my wife's job. All right, 407 916 1041. The Jim Colbert Show, weekdays at 3 on Real Radio 104.1. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Good morning, Central Florida. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your Thursday forecast. And for today, we'll expect increasing sunshine and really pleasant temperatures. Afternoon highs will only make it into the mid-70s, and we'll actually see it quite the dry stretch all the way throughout the weekend. So for your Friday, temperatures stay in the mid-70s, as well as our Saturday with a high of 75 degrees. We'll expect sunshine and dry weather even into the following work week. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report Report is sponsored by Jackson Hewitt. It matters who does your taxes. Why are people saying Hugh yeah to Jackson Hewitt? When you switch to Jackson Hewitt, they will beat what you paid last year on tax prep. Even if you filed online. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at JacksonHewitt.com. I got to tell you, something is tempting. It's real tempting. And that is when something breaks around the house, you think, well, I could just go on YouTube and I'll search what the problem is and I'll fix it myself. And the problem is you're probably going to run into problems like I did. And those are big ones. Uh, you end up going, I've got this air conditioning half apart now, and I have no idea how to get it back together. Leave it to the professionals at Mills Air. They're used to dealing with all of this. Every single kind of AC you can think of. They've probably worked on it before. They know what they're doing. They know every brand in and out. With preventative maintenance, they could save you the pain of a surprise gigantic bill when something goes wrong with your AC. You could find issues before they occur with your air conditioner, thanks to Mills Air. They are a carrier, factory, authorized dealer, and that's big. That means they can get you up to $1,275 in rebates toward a brand-new carrier unit. If you need a new AC, 
why wouldn't you be going with Mills Air so you can get that rebate? And that's really helpful toward a, a purchase of a new AC, like a carrier unit. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier, and you can always turn to family-owned and operated Mills Air. 407-277-1159. Or find them online at MillsAir.com. Hey, if you're listening to me right now, I have one thing every business needs most. Attention. Think about it. We swipe and scroll past stuff all day. But when we're driving, cooking, working out, we're also listening. That's the magic of audio at iHeart. We're in your next customer's ears while they're living life and listening, just like you are right now. So get your customers to listen up today using radio, digital, and podcasts. Call 844-AD-HELP-5. That's 844-AD-HELP-5. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Nervous about investing in college savings right now? Florida Prepaid has a plan for you. Our 529 prepaid plans are 100% risk-free because they're backed by the state of Florida, so you can never lose your investment. And now, prepaid plans start at just $34 a month. Open enrollment only happens once a year, so don't miss your chance to lock in the lowest prepaid plan prices in 10 years. Florida Prepaid open enrollment ends April 30th. Find your plan today. Hi, this is Earl Ron, president of New South Window. New South is having a one-day factory sale, this Saturday only in our factory showroom. 40% off energy-efficient windows and patio doors. One day only, this Saturday from 9 till 4. Please visit us at NewSouthWindow.com. Discover a career that matters at the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs. Be part of an innovative team delivering world-class health care and benefits to America's veterans. Enjoy robust benefits, work-life balance, and career development opportunities. Join a diverse and inclusive community that values your unique background and skills, a community where nearly one in three of your colleagues are veterans themselves. Apply now at vacareers.va.gov. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Last year, more clients hired Morgan & Morgan than ever before. We now have more offices, more staff, and more lawyers than any other injury firm in the world. Protecting America. Fighting for you. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Real Radio is on X at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Send him your tips and your deepest, darkest secrets. Email tips at the... Hey, Sean, how about that claim of the solar eclipse lasting for five days? He's talking about the conspiracy where people think we're going to plunge into darkness and like seven or eight cities named Nineveh or something 
are going to be responsible for, who knows, question marks, right? It's a conspiracy, so it's not all buttoned up yet. But they think that the solar eclipse on Monday will last for five days. And Sam says, about the claim of this, the mechanics, the physics, etc., it inv- uh, involved to cause an eclipse for five days would probably be way more detrimental to life on Earth than the sun being blocked for five days. Whatever would be massive enough to block the sun for that long would very likely change the orbits of a lot of things like asteroids, Ooh. comets, the moon and the Earth itself, depending on where it was in relation to us. Space stuff is scary, friends. If it was further away between us and the sun, it would have to be even more massive. That would probably also cause er- cause earthquakes and volcanoes to go off depending on how close the object was to us. On a side note, I've got an eclipse live stream scheduled for Monday at 1 p.m., he says. So he's going to live stream the eclipse. Uh, Does Sam, that do if you, something to your camera? Or uh, you like point your I phone at it? You got uh, to have some sort of, like just like you would use the glasses for your eyes, you have to have protection for the camera, or else it'll burn the chip. Hmm. Well, there's, hold on, more info here. But number one, Sam, if you like to talk to us the day of on Monday, like early on before the eclipse and all that stuff, uh, we could chat. We could even uh, bring up your your stream on ours during breaks and stuff or whenever it happens, if you'd like. But uh, just let me know. Unfortunately, the weather at the moment isn't looking great, but you know how Florida weather is. That's for us down south. Feel free to pull it up on the show or share it if you like. I'll have copyright free music playing. Da-ba-da-ba-da. I may put a NASA eclipse feed in a window on my stream as well, says ah, Sam. Knows so, the deal. But that's there like that's go. the answer that I wanted. That's you know, when somebody comes around and says, like, oh, you know, there's the eclipse gonna last five days. I wanted a nerd who right. knows nerd stuff to go, Hey, anything big enough to do that, you know, would change the orbits around and then the then the waves are gonna go crazy and then like I, I like uh, hearing stuff like that. Same here. You know uh, well, who's not listening to stuff like that? All the conspiracy theorists. No, they're not. You Zero don't know minds what you're changed. Talking about. Yeah. Okay. Kelly, uh, K E L L I emails tips of the news junkie dot com of the twenty twenty four eclipse. I'm flying out Saturday for the upcoming eclipse. I grew up in a small ass town in Arkansas, Yellville, and you also did a story about my town once during our annual turkey trot, (laughs) and it's in the path of totality. I've had my tickets for months. Schools in the area will be closed due to potential traffic, small town living. Currently just hoping for sunshine. I've got my glasses and solar filter for my phone, and I'll be wearing green. Apparently they say to have the ultimate experience wear either red or green during the eclipse. Why? We shall see. I'm the only person I know that is traveling for it. Thought I would share. Have a great rest of the show, says Kelly. Well, thank you, Kelly. Can we stay and everybody at your parents' else. house? Yeah. Perfect Got an time. Extra we'll do. Room if three? we stay long enough, we could do the turkey trot, too, right? Ooh. I mean, why not? Stay there for a little while. Uh, okay. In the world of big government telling you things that you can and can't do and punishing people for stupid reasons, I have some dumb stories for you very quickly before we hear your thoughts and opinions via dispatch at thenewsjunkie.com. Uh, Out of Washington, anti-smoking groups sued the U.S. government this week on Tuesday over a long-awaited ban on menthol cigarettes, uh, which has been idling at the White House for months. Why? Because Biden, who was uh, probed to do this by a lot of folks who suggested this was for social justice reasons. Come on, man. And then he realized right before implementing it, it would be really dopey to do this and would disproportionately affect a lot of black people in a way that they weren't prepared for. However, the anti-smoking groups are funded just for this. This is why they exist. This is why some of the folks who work at them make a bunch of money. So therefore, always the war rolls on. I say this is a person who doesn't even smoke anymore. The lawsuit is the latest effort to force the government to ban menthol cigarettes, which are disproportionately used by black smokers and young people. It comes amid growing concerns from advocates that the federal plan could be derailed by election year politics, they said. Now, I'll remind you, because this conversation will come back up again, and you'll hear all the commercials where they go, the federal government, not the federal government, the tobacco companies, the big tobacco companies were targeting black communities with menthol cigarettes. Oh, man, I'm a menthol cigarette. I've been used by tobacco Mm -hmm. to target black people. You might have heard that one right there. The way this works, it's like if you think about these things, it doesn't make any sense. Like if menthol cigarettes were a thing that the tobacco companies wanted to sell, why wouldn't they sell them to as many people as possible? Why mm. wouldn't they market them to as many people as possible? They were marketing them to black Americans at the time because they just so happened to be much more likely through various cultural uh, levers and reasons 
to smoke menthol cigarettes. That remains the case to this day. In fact, think about something, if you will. All right, when it comes to, largely speaking, alcohol, cigarettes, etc. All right, not to say there aren't outliers, so don't chirp at me for that. But largely speaking, when it comes to alcohol and cigarettes, I don't know too many people in my life who go, I smoke this brand or I drink this brand because I watched a commercial one time and I said, that's the one I want. That's what I'm going to do. You mostly drink what you drink. No, you hear the opposite, actually. You hear, I don't drink Bud Light because they made that tranny a can. Oh, yeah, I can't have that around They tell you the the advertisements is why they don't support them, but not because that's how they like it. That's why they like it. The reason why I smoked Marble Menthol Lights is because the two friends that I started smoking with at the very beginning, they smoked it. So whoever was around you, like you shared stuff or the, the first cigarettes you had were a particular type, so you just kept smoking that. That's why, at least in my case, you would start that way. Or with alcohol, it's like whatever was around, the stuff that your yeah. friends were drinking. But you and... could afford at the time. Yeah, Rest that's in peace, a... Parrot Bay. I'll never drink you again. That, that when you're young is more important than any ad campaign or any social pressures. And you know that, you know that to be true, because the things that you would drink when you were younger, i.e. Natty Light or Natty Ice, Bush which Light, I think is, is rip, Bush Light, Coors Light, King of Beers, um, High Life, for God's sake. High no, life. Nobody ever went around and was like, these are the greatest beers in the world. They said, these are the cheap ones. We want to get yeah. a bunch. They're we're special. The bucket's only eight bucks. Let's go. Uh, Rachel says, I smoke Newports because I had a black boyfriend, she says. The people who smoke cigarettes generally smoke cigarettes based on what they tried first. Sometimes they'll float around a little bit, and then you'll try something else. Uh, And if you do that, like, so uh, here's an example. Uh, I, for a little while, I liked that they had these, there was some camels. that The crush? Yeah, the camel crush ones, because I thought that was kind of an interesting gimmick, and I thought, you know, uh, when the other ones are out, I could rely on these. But mostly it's just about what is around you, right? That's what starts all of this. So with that said, now you have some uh, 85% of black smokers, people who are black Americans who smoke cigarettes, 80-something percent. is It depends on what you look at. Some say 75, 80, 85% of them smoke menthol cigarettes. You can argue to your blue in the face why that is and blame the tobacco companies for marketing campaigns in Ebony Magazine or whatever. It's not untrue. It's just, you know, what, you know, chicken and egg, what, what came first is, is my argument. But now that's where we are, right? So if the White House and these anti-smoking groups are successful and they ban menthol cigarettes, 85% of black smokers are impacted by this immediately. Are you, the federal government, going to buy Shantix for all of them? Are you going to purchase some sort of cessation devices for the people who you have said we're helping you out, we're doing you a favor we're doing this for social justice. We want to save you here. Well, I'm, a, I'm sure then if you're going to take away the access to the thing that they were legally allowed to have and got addicted to, I'm sure and you're going to have a taxes program. Toward. Uh, and they pay taxes on every single pack that they buy. Yes, it's true. And you think that if you take it away that all of a sudden they're going to like, well, I guess I'm, I'm done smoking. No, no that's, they're going no. to buy regular cigarettes. Uh-huh. They're probably yeah. going to, some company will come up with a filter. That gives or, you the menthol intake. Or like a drop. And they still get all the money that they want. And, need. and and I know they try to push back on this, but I think it's nonsense, okay? If you say, well, we're doing this to try to help black Americans, uh, okay, so then where are they going to get menthol cigarettes if they're really that dead set on it? Are they going to go to the black markets to purchase these now in some illegal way when you can't get them anymore? And then you say, well, you know, is that that's not going to actually put him in danger, Sean, because they're not going to go after people for that. They went after Eric Garner for a Lucy cigarette he was selling. You know what I mean? So, like, this is not a a crazy thought here. These are real issues. The idea that you're going to take menthol cigarettes and annihilate them from the market when uh, a bunch of people smoke those, is this going to fix something? It's pie in the sky, exactly. to say the very least. I mean, it is 2024. Everyone is aware of the dangers of smoking mm-hmm. cigarettes. And everyone of age is has every right to make that decision for themselves. Uh-huh. I mean, yeah. It's like we're not babies. I can understand that back in the day where your doctor's smoking, and they have marketing that led you to believe that it was perfectly okay for you, that that was misleading. But nowadays, yeah. we get it. 
and you still, as an adult, taxpaying American citizen, have the right to make that decision. Right. Just like yeah. it is to do whatever other activity that yeah. risks you, your life. You want to start a list of things that are as dangerous or on the same level as, as cigarette smoking? Alcohol would be tops on the list. And you could keep going from there. There are various things that you're allowed to do that are more dangerous and that worse for you. I would suggest that, I don't know, I might yeah, just be, this might be not alcohol be right. Alcohol versus cigarettes? No, I think I think alcohol is worse for you than cigarettes. I, I would argue that you are much more likely to definitively die as a cause of alcohol if you perpetually drink it on an alcoholic level for the rest of your life. Um, I, it's more dangerous than than cigarettes for sure. But I would almost argue that you have access to eat garbage foods and a poor diet can be far more dangerous to you. You're, you're welcome to do it as an American, as a taxpaying American. Eating garbage food day in and day out, not limiting the amount of food that you're eating, could be far worse for you than smoking cigarettes. So this is an idea that the, uh, the, the Biden team drummed up, and then when it got right to the finish line, they realized, oh, damn, this is not so good. They're we not wanted babies, to, uh, huh? Well, yes, and the infantilization, especially of black Americans, is so insane to me. It's offensive, and people have to stop doing this. Uh, these folks are, are smart, uh, just like anybody else. They understand the risks of what they're doing, and we have freedoms as Americans. Or I, I would think that we should. Um, I've got another story like this, but far dumber, uh, and it involves uh, a library. And that is a stay-at-home mother named Kaylee Morgan that learned on her 30th birthday she was in big trouble. This mom is now facing jail time after an arrest warrant was issued for unreturned books at the local county library. Arrest warrant? Two books. Two books that were overdue at this Grimes County, Texas library that were, I think, a fee of $100-ish, then led to a warrant for her arrest, and now... She's got a little infant, and she's on her own being a stay-at-home mother, and she could end up with the cops going around her up because there's a warrant for her arrest. This all oh makes sense. God. This is smart use of, of resources. This, this is brilliant stuff. Really, really great. All Americans love this. The combined, did, you, did you see the numbers, like what the books are worth? I thought it was a hundred bucks or so. Am I wrong? I was told I, I, I'm seeing sixty here. Oh my god! It's not even hundred bucks. The combined Tell value me of the two put books. Somebody GoFundMe together for. But, oh, somebody must no, have. The combined value of the two books was sixty dollars. They slapped her with a bill of five hundred sixty-nine dollars and fifty cents. Okay, so because of like late fees and stuff, fines and court fees. It's a library Come book. On the taxpayers paid for this to begin with in a county library. It, that's really. That's why we don't read. Dumb, just absolutely dumb. What do you think? Um, I, I, somebody out there has to agree with punishing this lady. I want to hear that person's story today. <laughs> Go to the newsjunkie.com. When you're over there on your Android device, your iPhone, you can send us what we call a dispatch. Skip to the front of the line. Don't wait on the phones and let us know what you think. Go to the newsjunkie.com and send your first dispatch right now. When we come back, is Trump on Ozempic? What's going on? Speculation mounting. Why? We'll look at the evidence. We'll talk about it. We'll see what's going on. And that is coming up next on the News Junkie. It's like a text message with your voice. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. Goldsmithjewelry.com. There's slowdowns on I-4 this afternoon between U.S. 27 and after State Road 429, between Osceola Parkway and after State Road 535, through the city between Michigan Street and Robinson Street. Authorities are clearing up an accident causing delays on State Road 429 southbound between Ocoee Apopka Road and West Road. And all lanes are blocked on State Road 453 northbound between State Road 429 and Sorrento Avenue. See traffic troubles? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477 from the Traffic Center. I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Robert Half. Robert Half research indicates nine out of 10 hiring managers are having difficulty hiring. Robert Half is here to help. Their recruiting professionals use proprietary AI to connect businesses with highly skilled talent. At Robert Half, they know talent. Visit roberthalf.com today. The Monster Brew Bus presented by Wasi Meat Market and Just Call Mo. Injure on the go, Just Call Mo. 
Although the bus is sold out, you could still join us Saturday, April 13th at one of our three stops. Brewlando Brewing, Toll Road Brewing, and Claremont Brewing. Special thanks to MCA Transportation and Jersey Mike's. Get more information at realradio.fm slash brew. That's realradio.fm slash brew. Are you paying too much for term life insurance? There's a tremendous price war in term life. Industry rates have dropped dramatically in the past few years. For example, a man aged 45, non-smoker, can get a million dollars of coverage for $75 per month, level rate for 10 years. Or a man aged 50, non-smoker, can obtain $500,000 of coverage for a monthly premium of $110, level rate for 20 years. That's right, guaranteed level rate for 20 years. If you're a smoker, we have great rates available for you as well. At Term Busters, we specialize in policies of $500,000 and above. If you're looking for new or replacement term life insurance, call for a free quote today, 800-200-2250. That's 800-200-2250. Don't wait. Call 800-200-2250. 800-200-2250. Sample rate quotes based on preferred non-smoker rate class. Exam required to qualify. I have diabetes. I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. I have asthma. I'm at risk, too. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine, a Pfizer vaccine that can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Sneezing, coughing, uh, stuffy nose, runny nose, post-nasal drip, interrupted sleeping. I just I was groggy at the end of the day. Allergies and sinus congestion were making Jana miserable. Then a friend recommended Navage. Navage provides immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus germs and other airborne irritants. Navage helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. Navaj gave me instant relief. I didn't have to wait 30 minutes. I didn't have to wait an hour, 90 minutes. I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to wait a minute. I just, I ran the rinse and I felt immediately, I felt better. Stop suffering from congestion and start breathing and feeling your best again with Navaj. N-A-V-A-G-E. I've had people ask me how I find relief, and I tell them Navaj immediately. This thing is amazing. Navaj is available at Navaj.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Easy Cater. 100,000 restaurants, one platform. Need food for a meeting or a company event? Easy Cater has everything you need to make food for work, work. With easy online ordering and reordering. Save your favorite orders, make edits as needed, and click. We even help you with expenses by keeping your receipts all in one place, which means all you need to do is sit back and enjoy the food. From ordering to reporting, Easy Cater has everything to make food for work, work. Order 24-7 at easycater.com. Are you over 30 and putting off life insurance? It's time to get a quick quote from Ethos, a better, easier way to get term life insurance, all online with no medical exam. Answer a few health questions and you could be approved for up to $2 million. Isn't it worth 10 minutes to help protect your family's financial security? Ethos, up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at checkethos.com. That's checkethos.com. Do you have a life insurance policy of $100,000 or more that you don't need? Well, don't lapse or surrender your policy. You might be sitting on a gold mine. That's right. You may be able to sell all or part of your life insurance policy to Coventry for cash or a combination of cash and coverage with no future premiums, even a term policy. Call Coventry Direct at 800-411-8300 or visit CoventryDirect.com to find out if you're sitting on a gold mine. That's 800-411-8300. 
For over 25 years, we've helped thousands of people sell their policies. And we can probably help you, too. Call us today at 800-411-8300 or visit CoventryDirect.com to find out if you're sitting on a gold mine. That's 800-411-8300. Call now. A1 Garage.com. A1 from day one. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because your case matters. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. The only radio show strong enough to fight off a Category 5 hurricane. various places including a bunch of people who are talking over on the fan discord which you can join of course if you go to the newsjunkie.com scroll down you'll see the link to the fan discord they were talking about seeing the greasy strangler which i had talked about on the show uh, i the tried other day. i tried to convince ashley no she i told you stop showing no, her no. these movies i no. what i said was sean had found what he thinks to be the worst movie ever uh-huh do you want to watch the greasy strangler and she said what's it about i said a strangler who is greasy and he's got a big penis <laughs> basically i went to text you guys the other day and it was still there haunting me <laughs> yeah oh, well, wait, I wait, about that. so did you text us uh, i did don't. oh i did but i was like all right every time i blink for the next three hours there's that image there was a bunch of people who were like, you're right, it was the worst movie, and now I, I love it, and I'm going to recommend it to everybody. I'm like, oh, what? I, okay, maybe maybe that's what you're doing. You want to drag everybody down with you like I did? I, that, that's that's good enough, I think. I think that works. Uh, is Trump on Ozempic? The speculation is mounting, and we could have skinny Trump, maybe, for the campaign trail as we roll on and get closer to November. Here's some of the evidence for those of you watching on YouTube and twitch.tv slash the news junkie. You can also also like get the links and make sure we're up and live. Wow, that's every him? Day. That's not him. That's him? Yeah. That is not. That's a look like a Trump impersonator. It that's really him. does. He got like teeth whitening. It doesn't look like something. his face. He yeah. looks different for sure. It kind of looks like uh, Madame Tussauds or whatever, however you yeah. say that thing. Um, but and that's the him. Balloons. Yeah. <laughs> The Trump balloons. balloons. Are- <laughs> I can't. They're, That's they're hilarious. Like, it's like a balloon artist was at the party, and you know they do like the little dogs and all that stuff, but they did yeah. Trump ones. Don't do a hat. Don't do a dragon. <laughs> Only do a Trump. Trump balloons. It's like these little kids want little Trump balloons. Ah, they're smiling. And uh, for a second, I thought it might be Baron, his son, off to the right, but then I realized he wasn't 11 feet tall, so it's definitely not Baron because that kid, he's. I, I think he might just keep growing. I think he might just like he may not be able to fly on Air Force One if that happens. He may not be able to get in re- re- you know like recreational vehicles. Look, look or- at this the the user name of this uh, X user. Are we supposed to trust Jag off for twenty sixty nine that this yeah, is actually so. Donald Trump? Yeah, this is somebody who hates him. It says he looks like refried s. Just like 15 pounds less. Could be Ozempic, but it also could be eating clean. Maybe he's eating those bison patties with no sauce, they say. I got more, though. I got more. This is another photo of him that's making the rounds. All right? You can see he looks a little different in the face. Kind of like he's starting to shrink in I'm sorry, a bit. Where? Right here. I think this is thinner than he generally looks. I think, I think he's it's got, just uh, gravitated towards the bottom there. Well, no, that's see. what happened. When you lose a bunch of weight in your in your chunks like that, your your jowls they can start to like, and the rich people then they go in and they get the jowls like pulled up real tight, you know, like like the Men in Black guy. Then they they pull the face Sugar back. Water. Yeah, that guy. They do all of that stuff. Here's another one. This is that same party, and you see like a side view of trump he definitely looks thinner right there like in that shot i don't know if that's 
a good exemplar of what he actually looks like. Huh. Maybe the court cases are stressing him out, and he's not eating as many I waffers. I don't think or the court cases are stressing Big him out. Big Macs or whatever. Uh, maybe it's uh, maybe he's jumped on the Ozempic. He's got those Ozempies in the bloodstream, and he's he's good to go right now. Unsure, but I'll put these up on See It Now so you can take a look and you tell me, do you think Trump is dropping LBs right now, getting ready for November? Skinny Trump, like like Al Roker-style Trump? I don't know how I feel about that. That seems weird. Um, well, he's yeah, the, Trump wasn't super fat. <clears throat> uh, Trump was fat. No, but Trump was super yeah. fat. He's not me fat. Go to, go to the golf oh, pit. Don't, don't bring yourself into it. You're a bigger guy. He, you're taller than Trump, by the way. Well, definitely. And Trump was like... This like, like super fat. The, I, I'm going to say it a way that doesn't make any sense, but I'm still going to say it this way. Golf dad fat. Yeah, yeah. All right. Like there's this this type of like your your belly protrudes in a weird way, and then like your your upper body has nothing to it, right? And you wear very high pants that just accentuate the area. Yeah. And uh, above your pelvis. And you bring your tie so it goes down like almost to your crotch. So you just become a blur at the waist. There's like strategy that's in play there. Um, if, so if he's not on Ozempic, he might be on this other thing that's on TikTok right now. Have you heard the, Wigovi? the Wigovi? trend? No, no, no. The new trend, I think it's for poros who can't mm-hmm. afford Ozempic. Well, what is it? Uh, and they're like, it's, a tre- it's trending on TikTok. And now all the local news places are asking nutritionists like, is this uh, a real thing? Is this something that people should be doing? It's called oat zempic. <laughs> like eating oats? And uh, it's just having a blended oat drink with lime juice, oats, and water. Ew. Ew uh, lime juice in an oat uh, drink? Yeah. I do think I just ate ribs. That's gross. Ribs were a better choice. Good God. All right, I'll post a photo of Skinny Trump or what we're supposed to believe is Skinny Trump and see it now, and you can take a look for yourself. Many of the claims around oat zempic. Say this oat-heavy drink will help you lose 40 pounds in two months. That sounds like bogus. However, people seem to have different results. One TikToker says in a post she lost seven pounds in 10 days on Oat Zempic. While follow Oat Zempic fan, it already has fans, the Choro King uh, shared that he lost 10 pounds over 21 days. Um, Yeah, because you're probably just depressed that all you can eat is this oat drink with lime juice in it. My gosh. I don't know, though. I need some help. I might get some oat zempic in my life. Don't get oat zempic. I might do it. No, don't do it. I got my weights just cranked up. I've been working the weights. I've been doing real good at that. Uh, Yeah, I was going to. I've been going every day on the walks again because my feet are working normally uh, or close to it. But the problem was yesterday. Jesus, man. Here locally yesterday, the weather is spiraled out of control it, after it the awful. show it was, it was awful. pretty bad and then i had carl yelling at me i mean literally just barking at me to let him mm-hmm. go outside so i was like all right let's go let's do it we got what do you want carl go, go ahead. ahead in the harness and the leash and he made it all of two steps before he turned his little ass around and went back inside and then peed inside it kind of seemed to come out of nowhere i like i know that uh the alexa device had a uh, like a uh, it alerted me the day before, and it was like, tomorrow there's going to be some bad winds and this and that. And then all of a sudden I go, geez, it is whipping out there right now. Uh, it got wild there for a bit. But soon enough, man, I'll get that Ozempic going. I'll get the, those you know 10 why pounds you lose back weight? off. Because you projectile vomit as soon as you drink it. Worth it, though, still. I mean, I just don't want to have to keep eating oats forever because I don't like oats. Oats are really boring. I love Hall. In fact... Let me tell you something that's super controversial. I don't even know if I've ever had, like, oats, like breakfast oats. I've had, like, an oatmeal cookie. I know C-Lane is going to disagree with this. He's going to not like this take. But it's nuanced, so follow me, okay? Mm. Not only do oats suck, I hate to say it. Oh, you're, no, you don't like you're grits. grits. I'm a Vermont boy, but grits suck, too. Oh, my God. You have not had... Great grits, then. I have. Courtney made grits the other day, and they were the best grits I've ever had in my entire life. But you know what? She made the grits the way they're supposed to be made first, and I took a couple of spoonfuls, and it tastes like nothing. Right. Then you got to take it. Butter butter or salt cheese. and pepper? Yeah. You got to put the butter. You got to put the cheese. You got to put well, all no, the accoutrements no, no, but, to make it good. Butter and salt and pepper are, are, are like traditional classic grits with no cheese. The basic, basic bitch version of grits is not great. It's like, you know, sure. mealy mouth nothingness. You got, but when she put that cheese in Your it, she put some butter. Mouth nothingness. Whoa. Wow. 
I'll tell it you. It hurts my feelings. I have right? never known grits. It was not a thing in my Cuban household. No, not at all? Uh, but then I went to, God, and they just closed down. What was the, the place in Tampa? Dats, D-A-T-Z. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah, that yeah, place closed? That. Yeah, and that they sucks. had the greatest grits that I've ever tried in my life that every single time I went to Tampa, I would just swing by and ask for a quart of mm-hmm. grits. Yeah. And those were the ones that sold me. So every time I see some grits on the menu, I'll try it. And I would say like six out of ten times, they're awful. And I can yeah. understand where you're coming from. When you get a good grit in your mouth, bud, it's yeah. so worth it. When they're good, they're good. Very, very true. People are split on this. A lot of anti-grits folks in chat right now. Grits are nasty. Grits are gross. Bunch of people also hate oatmeal. Sweet grits are dumb. Just eat oatmeal. All right, you guys fight that I out over there. Sweet grits. That seems mm-hmm. weird. Meanwhile, Trump parties it up over at Mar-a-Lago. Maybe the dancing is kicking off weight because they said most nights when he's home, he walks downstairs to the ground floor of Mar-a-Lago. Like clockwork, the uh, crowd rises in applause, greeting the guest of honor and sometimes complimenting his ear for music, they say. They say Trump's a great DJ. Trump shakes hands as people pass his table. Because the the YMCA came on again? He's got more than that. I'll tell you his jams in a second. Uh, After dinner, he'll open his iPad and play the hits. Sometimes it's so loud that people have trouble talking. He marvels at the sound quality filling the garden at Mar-a-Lago. They said the songs stay the same. At Mar-a-Lago and on the patio of his golf club in Bedminster, New Jersey, the music is always big names and songs people recognize. It's Trump's golden oldies. Phantom of the Opera, opera he likes. Jesus Christ Superstar. Elvis, including Suspicious Minds. Hello by Lionel Richie. Guns N' Roses' November Rain. Hell That's a yeah. strange one. Put that in there. James Brown and Luciano Pavarotti. It's a man's man's world. It's the double on the man's there. Sinead O'Connor, nothing compares to you. Uh, R.E.M., Elton <laughs> so John. Random. It's like a lot of these aren't really dance songs. Like, could you imagine uh, nothing compares yeah, to you he comes on? He just does yeah. that little weird yeah. shuffle. Yeah, right? just, that thing is, you could put any song. Nothing compares to you slapper. would work for that. Uh, and they said at Bedminster, he kept the tune spinning, wearing a Make America Great Again baseball hat. They said the deep state hates him, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, the excitement never fades in his world, they say. So the dancing, getting down to nothing compares to you, the Ozempic flowing through the system, and you got them balloon Trump things that the kids are holding. Again, all this will be up on See It Now at thenewsjunkie.com. Perhaps that's leading to a little bit of weight loss for Mr. Trump. Uh, We shall see. What do you think? Let us know. Go to thenewsjunkie.com and hit record on your first dispatch right now. When we come back, a woman claims Whole Foods is terrible. Whole Foods is the devil. Whole Foods ruined her son's birthday. By only delivering half foods. Well... They did something else, Elaine, and this lady didn't like it. But when she complained about it, the entirety of the Internet turned on her. What happened? That is coming up next on the News Junkie. Real radio it, it, it is. The monsters in the morning. I, don't, I don't know, and I can't think of one that... Uh, that... There's got to be something out there, but it's just really hard. What? The monsters in the morning. Real radio 104.1. Authorities are clearing up an accident on Bronson Highway eastbound at Griffin Road. The right turn lane is blocked. All lanes are blocked on State Road 453 northbound between State Road 429 and Sorrento Avenue. And there's delays due to an accident on State Road 429 southbound between Ocoee Apopka Road and West Road. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Indeed.com. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Their all-in-one platform helps you attract, interview, and hire candidates all from one place. And Indeed's interview tool lets you schedule and conduct virtual interviews right from their website. Visit Indeed.com slash credit. One of my favorite things about that Mortgage Guy Don from thatmortgageguydon.com is the fact that he's part of the Real Radio family. That's right. Every Saturday morning, you can listen to the Home Loans Radio Show right here on 104.1 and 96.9. Get your questions answered live by the expert and someone that you can trust. And start the process today by going to thatmortgageguydon.com.
Hi, this is Earl Ron, president of New South Window. New South is having a one-day factory sale this Saturday only in our factory showroom. 40% off energy-efficient windows and patio doors. One day only this Saturday from 9 till 4. Please visit us at NewSouthWindow.com. You got a service dog? Actually, he's a deals dog. Since I'm looking for a new car, I trained him to sniff out awesome rates, member discounts, and fast decisions. Cool, huh? But you know Navy Federal Credit Union has all those things, right? You're right. He's got the scent. Oh, wait. Nope. That's just the bacon in my pocket. Apply for a Navy Federal Credit Union auto loan online, at a branch, or on our mobile app. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Message and data rates may apply. Visit NavyFederal.org for more information. Don't miss TK Law. Trendley Kramer Law calls every Monday at 620 on The Jim Colbert Show. Ray Trendley and the Colbert crew will be discussing all things law and not law on a variety of topics. From the latest legal news to the best new movies. Elevate your outdoor living space this year using stone. Tanzite has developed stone decking crafted without any plastic composite materials to redefine durability. Visit Tanzite.com to see how stone decking doesn't scratch, stays cooler, isn't slippery, and has all the durability you would expect from stone, which is why it's guaranteed for life. At Tanzite.com, you will see how we developed stone to easily transform any ordinary wood deck. You can even make your deck waterproof for a dry space below. Versatile and adaptable. Tanzite is perfect for decks, stairs, over concrete, or ground applications. Visit Tanzite.com to start planning your project with a free 3D design and construction plan tailored to your space. Order a sample today to witness the incredible beauty and durability firsthand at Tanzite.com. That's T-A-N-Z-I-T-E.com. If it plugs and turns on whatever the make, get it all covered, cause everything breaks. It's a fact. Things in your home are gonna break. Appliances and plumbing can cost hundreds to thousands to repair. Air conditioning, even more. Don't let home repairs break the bank. Call GoEverythingBreaks.com today and get a free quote for total home warranty protection. Everything Breaks covers major home systems and appliances starting at a dollar a day, including electronics, from cell phones to flat screens and more. Call in the next 30 minutes and get three months of coverage for half off. Plus, gain instant vehicle repair savings too. For a free coverage quote now, call 800-FIX-IT-77. That's 800-FIX-IT-77. One free call could save you thousands. Get it all covered your way, cause everything breaks. Limitations and exclusions apply. See plan terms and conditions for details. Coverage not available in all states. Actual savings may vary based on the coverage plan and repairs needed. Call 800-FIX-IT-77. Online at GoEverythingBreaks.com. Are you over 30 and putting off life insurance? It's time to get a quick quote from Ethos, a better, easier way to get term life insurance, all online with no medical exam. Answer a few health questions and you could be approved for up to $2 million. Isn't it worth 10 minutes to help protect your family's financial security? Ethos, up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at checkethos.com. That's checkethos.com. The Big Take from Bloomberg News brings you what's shaping the world's economies with the smartest and best-informed business reporters around the world. We cover the stories behind what's moving money in markets and help you understand what's happening, what it means, and why it matters every afternoon. I'm Sarah Holder. I'm Saleh Mosin. And I'm David Gura. Listen to The Big Take on America's number one podcast network, iHeart. Open your free iHeart app and search Big Take. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. The Game of Magnets. Taking over the world one terrible person at a time. Magnets, as our magnets have been around the globe and on almost every continent and in so many countries you can't imagine, you can learn more over at thenewsjunkie.com, including seeing all the magnets that are out there in the wild for you to swipe. Uh, check it out at thenewsjunkie.com. 
Uh, there's a mother that is very upset. She's very upset about her son's birthday. But before we get into why she's upset, I'm even going to play the video that she's made complaining about this. Really backfired on her. Really backfired on her, and you'll hear that in a moment. But c uh, we're what, four months in on Jackson's life here so far? Five. Five months? Oh, my oh, God. It'll be, it'll be six boy. this month. Jackson is going to be six months old this it'll month? Be a half a year it, it, old. Is he scooting yet? Does he, like, scoot around and try to get away from you? He, uh, he would never try to get away from me. You know what I mean. Like, just try to, like, explore the room and stuff. He's not crawling yet. He, he rolls around. He can roll over and then roll back. And, like, he keeps trying to crawl. He's just mm-hmm. not, not doing well. Look, the moment he does that, you got more problems on your hands. Yeah. And then from there, he'll move from one place to another holding on to stuff. And then oh, all yeah. of a sudden, that son of a bitch is going to start walking. And, and you then got, kicking ah. you or something. Yeah, right? and what? Wait. Oh, he's already kicking. That guy kicks all the time. He kicks you? Yeah, he, ki- guys. he kicks all the time. He does a thing, uh, and uh, Ashley looked it up. It's got a really weird name, I think, because I think of other things when I think of a whale tail. <laughs> I do, too. I think of a thong. <laughs> yeah, I think of a thong. <laughs> but he does a thing when he's sleeping that he just lifts both of his legs up in the air and slams them down. You know, and, and he does it over <laughs> and over again. <laughs> As he's waking uh, up, and they call that whale tailing, apparently. Yeah, they, it needs another name. By they, really... I mean, uh, there's, uh, one mommy blog probably started this trend. That's all it takes sometimes. But he's going to get older. He's going to start running around. he got all kinds of other issues. Have you, um, before we get into this woman's story, and this poor lady in Whole Foods just really did her in, uh, have you childproof the house at all, or are you planning on doing that? Or are you like one of the... My kid's going to be a tough kid. We don't need the, the childproof stuff. We have childproof parts of the house. Like um, uh, there's like there's some foam kind of around where the edge of the fireplace is. We All haven't right. started doing like the eventually we're going to need those little buttons to get into the cabinets. Mm-hmm. D- did you ever have those as a kid? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like the little thing that made it so you can't open things if there's like chemicals well, or stuff. Yeah, in there. at least the ones under the sink. We'll need to keep them out of the those for now. Yeah, all my parents had was the outlet ones. That's it. The little plastic things you push into all the outlets. Yeah. And then when you're a grown ass adult, you have to remember to pull them out, and you're like, ah, stupid outlet things in there. So the newer outlets have a thing. I think that's sort of built in for that. Really. The, like, if you get, like, brand new outlets, I think they they might even be called safety outlets. Mm-hmm. Really? Ha- yeah, oh, it has, like, a little, like, a cover <clears throat> internally. Yeah, it's it, you you'll, you don't even notice it until you go to plug something in, and it's, like, harder to plug something in. It's almost like the first time anything's ever been plugged into it. Huh. It's That's a virgin terrifying. outlet. That and when they have the outlets that have the reset button. Like, mm-hmm. there was something that happened. One of them, when I was a kid, shocked me when I pressed the button. Until this day, I'm like... Have You're to on edge. Build myself up in order to press that damn button because yeah. I'm scared to get shocked again. That'll stick with you for sure. That does happen. All right, over to this woman. She is Taylor. I like to hear your stories. And Taylor is telling a story about Whole Foods. Her story is about how Whole Foods ruined her son's first birthday. And now, he, so now we're supposed to either uh, believe Whole, Su- Whole Foods' version of the story or Taylor's version. I don't even know if there's two different versions, but people just hated her. They were like, the idea that your your kid's birthday was ruined by um, Whole Foods is fiction. Why? Because your kid's birthday can't be ruined at one year old. Your no. kid doesn't know what, what's going on for their birthday at one year old. That, that's you that's no, no, doing no. that. That you ruined her party. Right. It's, it's mm-hmm. her. Her time was ruined. The kid does not know what's going on. Now I will say, a uh, one year old's party could be ruined if perhaps there was an accident in which they lost a limb. Then that oh, I would yeah. say, you know, first year ruined. But other yeah. than that, if you're talking about Whole Foods. I imagine a cake or something then the kid will not remember that. Right. The kid's going to have no idea what's going on with this. They don't care at all. And they're going to not understand what is happening with a birthday or otherwise, right? They're just a one-year-old, for God's sake. They said Taylor began her tale sitting in her car in the Whole Foods parking lot. Can somebody bring up her TikTok? Because I tried to, but I I can't find the exact one. It says, here's the username. Oh, boy. Sorry for this ahead of time, all right? It's S-U-R-V-I-V. 
I V I N G motherhood surviving motherhood on TikTok. Taylor is her name. And it says she's in her car at the Whole Foods parking lot, visibly upset. I just picked up Mason's first birthday cake. She begins her voice breaking a little. She had ordered two berry Chantilly cakes with specific instructions. No berries on top for her son Mason's personal cake, a detail that was crucial for her. Despite being proactive, ordering the cake well in advance, the result was a cake that was definitely crooked and mishandled to the point where oh the frosting God. was well, damaged. Sean, you didn't mention that, man. It's, I'm Whole sorry, it was Foods crooked. absolutely ruined that kid's birthday. It was crooked, and they didn't want this. They said it was less than satisfactory. I literally mean he just smeared some frosting on the side of it, they said, or she said. She insists nobody was genuinely apologetic about the entire encounter, which further upset her. And uh, some people were saying that she was right, but most people were saying it is his first birthday. No one gives a damn except for you. It's his first birthday. Did you find her account, c I th- I think I, I found it. I, I found her. Send it to you. Well, it's, it's just surviving motherhood. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know how oh. you got, saw that. Vive, vive. Uh, no, mine says survive vibing. Okay, so yours is not, it doesn't have the extra in it? No. <laughs> All right. Uh, did you see the, can you send me the link to the one that's her in the Whole Foods parking lot? Maybe you already did that. Uh, um, I just sent the profile. She posts went, a lot. Yeah, when I went to the profile, I didn't see anything that looked like her at a Whole Foods or like any kind of birthday thing. Or... So I see, went back to Whole Foods. And let's see, okay. so it must be before that. This is the lady here, you're right. Oh, so it's got much. a edge. It's got to have a lot of views on it, too, one would guess, right? Because, like, this would have to get enough attention. Uh, let's go shopping. Man, This la- is this lady posting that much? Yeah. Holy cow. Is it the uh, pinned one? Right here. Here it is. Whole, F- Whole Foods ruined my son's birthday cake. Uh. To you from the Whole Foods parking lot. No. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hang on. Hello. I'm coming to you from the Whole Foods parking lot. Could you whisper more? Let's get her one of those mics. They have it in the shop. I just picked up Mason's first birthday cake. And I wanted a berry chantilly cake. That's all I wanted. No berries on the top for his. That's it. And just a regular one for us. And they were like, all right, order it 24 to 48 hours in advance. I'm like, no problem. Why is she whispering? Hey, you're in your car, dummy. And it's like... Maybe he's sleeping. Crooked. Definitely crooked. And then they like smashed it into the container... So the frosting came off the side because it's crooked and it doesn't actually fit in the container. She also added Whole Foods Market on here. It says, I'll be waiting for that apology, the mom says. Uh, this doesn't seem like a big deal to me. No. This seems really stupid. And it seems like maybe you could just move on with your life and yeah. uh, have fun with your son. I the, wonder the what better... the comment section is like under the one that says, I'm sure your one-year-old son is devastated about the cake. Oh, hang on. Let me see. I'll bring it back up. You think it's people supporting her or people who are against this woman? I think seeing as I thought I read, it was hard to see on the screen, 97 comments below just that one comment. I think that maybe some people are, you know, there's some mixed reviews. All right. Let us know what you think. Go to the newsjunkie.com. Hit record on your first dispatch right now. I'm opening up this thread. It says, from Mommy Allen, I'm sure your son is so upset about his cake. Mom to mom, just know this should have been left in the brain. Moms don't shame mom, says the creator. Okay. Right? So she's, she's fighting about she's First moms of all, don't shame mom. First of all, yes, the F they do. That's yes, all they do. Yes, they friggin' do. Post anything about parenting on, on social media and, and, and uh, show me that there's not going to be a single mom ever that goes, you're doing this wrong. That's yeah, actually the- really bad for the baby. The people who shame moms are other moms who are like really weird Karen types online and who want to be judgy about everything. This is a person who's like super okay with being victimhood mom. And she goes, all I have to do is make my little videos complaining about things. And then I'll get a bunch of views. Like she's not making money off of this though. That's the weird thing. Like, but everybody has a dream of doing it. Why do you feel the need to tell others how they should feel? If I spent money on something, it better be exactly how I wanted, said Stephanie, who is defending her. <laughs> and uh, well, I mean, uh, also, if you lot. order a custom cake at Whole Foods, do you prepay for it? I would think not. Oh, mm. custom cake? Yeah. There's you prepay? Sort of- you might say, have to yeah. pay for it because they're going to be making it to your specifications. Yeah, I want you to should be able. To, you should be able to show up, and if they're if they they make the cake and it's not how you want it, you should be able to say no. I'm not. I'm not paying for that. 
Here's the cake. It just is hard to kind of see, but it doesn't look very bad to me. It looks like it, it, if the cake it's sucks good. so bad, why didn't you give, put a perfect photo of how bad the cake was in the picture? It's got a little bit of a leaning tower of Pisa vibe to it, but so still looks kind of cool. It's also yeah, six layers. Yeah, it's tall. How many it's, kids are going to this damn party. It's like a Dr. Seuss cake. I'm with this thing. Uh, okay, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, the next episode with Sabrina. What's coming up on the next episode? What's coming up on the next episode? Some fun facts about Survivor. And if you've got to go number two, um, according to some research, an update on the lawsuit on Donda Academy against Kanye West. And this is a doozy. Plus, if you've been eagerly awaiting Matt Walsh's take on Beyonce, then first of all, woof. And second of all, your prayers have been answered. All that and so much more coming up on the news. Uh, <laughs> on, the <what? laughs> on the next episode. Coming up on the news. <laughs> and that news is coming up on the news junkie. <laughs> coming up tonight on Real Radio at 7, it's a corporate time with Tom and Dan. Brought to you by Gringo's Locos and Modern Plumbing Industries. At 9 p.m., it's Real Laughs with comedians James, Miguel, Ken, and Mike. And Real Music starts tonight at 10 on Real Radio 104.1. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. Here's your midday weather forecast update. I'm Fox 35. Storm Team Meteorologist Brooks Garner. Beautiful day today. Highs in the mid-70s and nothing but sunshine from here straight through this time next week. The only change is that we're going to see temperatures warming up each day. So we'll look for mid-70s through Saturday, then 80 on Sunday mid to upper 80s by the middle of next week. Now, at the end of next week, that's when we'll see our first chance for some rain. It's another weak cold front promising more beautiful spring weather. For the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Brooks Garner. This report is sponsored by HCA Florida Osceola East Emergency. HCA Florida Osceola East Emergency in St. Cloud at 4920 East Erlo Bronson Highway is now open 24-7. Visit HCAFloridaHealthcare.com to learn more. This emergency department is part of HCA Florida Osceola Hospital. This is not an urgent care center. Its services are billed at hospital rates. Hey, if you're listening to me right now, I have one thing every business needs most. Attention. Think about it. We swipe and scroll past stuff all day. But when we're driving, cooking, and working out, we're also listening. That's the magic of audio at iHeart. We're in your next customer's ears while they're living life and listening, just like you are right now. So get your customers to listen up today using radio, digital, and podcasts. Visit iHeartAdvertising.com. That's iHeartAdvertising.com. Discover a career that matters at the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs. Be part of an innovative team delivering world-class health care and benefits to America's veterans. Enjoy robust benefits, work-life balance, and career development opportunities. Join a diverse and inclusive community that values your unique background and skills, a community where nearly one in three of your colleagues are veterans themselves. Apply now at vacareers.va.gov. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle, unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now, you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. Are you over 30 and putting off life insurance? It's time to get a quick quote from Ethos, a better, easier way to get term life insurance, all online with no medical exam. Answer a few health questions and you could be approved for up to $2 million. Isn't it worth 10 minutes to help protect your family's financial security? Ethos, up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at checkethos.com. That's checkethos.com. 
Easy Cater. 100,000 restaurants, one platform. Need food for a meeting or a company event? Easy Cater has everything you need to make food for work, work. With easy online ordering and reordering. Save your favorite orders, make edits as needed, and click. We even help you with expenses by keeping your receipts all in one place, which means all you need to do is sit back and enjoy the food. From ordering to reporting, Easy Cater has everything to make food for work, work. Order 24-7 at easycater.com. Why are people saying Hugh yeah to Jackson Hewitt? When you switch to Jackson Hewitt, they will beat what you paid last year on tax prep, even if you filed online. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. Do you have a life insurance policy of $100,000 or more that you don't need? Well, don't lapse or surrender your policy. You might be sitting on a gold mine. That's right. You may be able to sell all or part of your life insurance policy to Coventry for cash or a combination of cash and coverage with no future premiums, even a term policy. Call Coventry Direct at 800-411-8300 or visit CoventryDirect.com to find out if you're sitting on a gold mine. That's 800-411-8300. For over 25 years, we've helped thousands of people sell their policies. And we can probably help you, too. Call us today at 800-411-8300 or visit CoventryDirect.com to find out if you're sitting on a gold mine. That's 800-411-8300. Call now. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you right now. Like Lost 80s. <laughs> Just search Lost 80s and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package. Which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Real Radio is on Facebook at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. stories of the day in all their glory and insanity you're listening it's happening in the world of entertainment and beyond and philip emails to tips at the news junkie.com philip says Hey, about that NHL brawl that you started the show with, the 5v5 battle. He says, here's the story about why it happened. It was only supposed to be two people stemming from a fight that didn't happen earlier in the season. Knew it. The rest of the teams joined in for solidarity and having their teammates' backs. So it was like, hey, if you guys fight, we're fighting. We'll all get in the mix here. Somebody on the texting service said, and <clears throat> their their guess is better than mine, uh, that only the first two who started the fight would get five for fighting, and mm -hmm. the remaining eight would get ejected from the game. Oh, ejected really? completely. I mean, like, that is a very vast difference in punishment. Yeah. Five minutes versus the rest of the game, when I think that was the beginning of the game. Yeah, it was right. the, as soon as the puck dropped. But there must be enough people on the bench that would replace them, right? I guess. I don't know. That seems very, very harsh, actually. Uh, bacon and eggs emails tips at the news .com. how dare you i'll never stop eating fried eggs i'll go down with the ship sean you hear me he says other people uh, also saying in chat like why am i supposed to stop eating fried eggs that is on the way on the show we've got a whole lot more to get into on this lovely thursday i've been going through uh, some of the responses from that tiktok mom about the cake what else are they saying <laughs> there was just she's responding to all the people who were like Oh, I'm sure your son's so upset. Oh, tell me you're a first-time mom without telling me you're a first-time mom and stuff like that. But my favorite is to one of them, she's responding, and she goes, so to all the assholes being assholes. 
That's <laughs> what you got. I kind of uh, like that, actually. Hey, but uh, still uh, was able to post, I believe, five TikToks a day, according yeah, to her profile. It didn't stop She's, her at all. She's busy on it. All right, let's get into it. Let's do the next episode. Because there's a lot on TV, and you can't possibly keep up with all of it, even though you should, because what else are you going to talk about? He killed my dog. How could he do this? Nothing. Weather's nice. It's time for the next episode with Sabrina. Hey, smoke weed every day. day, 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 day. The next episode brought to you by That Mortgage Guy Don. ThatMortgageGuyDon.com. And of course, the Home Loans Radio Show. How about this? Peace of mind right there at your fingertips. Mm -hmm. You want to get the process started today of refinancing your dream home, perhaps buying your first dream home, maybe some debt consolidation. You know that the rates are going down. And if you've uh, been paying on time for the last two years, you might have an opportunity to get a better rate, and the person who's going to make sure you get the best deal possible is That Mortgage Guy Don. So go to the website right now, thatmortgageguydon.com, and get the process started today. Hit it, Jingle. Don't miss the book, compare your quote with thatmortgageguydon.com. It was a mere 35 years ago, 1989. Mm -hmm. Pepsi dumped this gal right here. Oh, Madonna. And for this song, like a prayer, two points for Sean. Black guy. What? Black guy. Black guy. Uh, Isn't that why they dumped her? Because she like made out with a black guy in the like a prayer video, and it was controversial at the time. Uh, There's no um, mention of a, a black guy. I think it was actually the heat from the Vatican because it was blasphemous. I'll tell you this, because I remember it. I was a little kid, and I remember some of the buzz at the time, and my sister was really, really, really into Madonna. Madonna was very controversial at that time, and in the very, well, mid to, mid to late 80s, it was still like, oh, she's kissing a black man in the video. But also the black man was Jesus, wasn't he? Uh, yeah, I think so. Mm-hmm. But it was not just controversial because of the religious aspect. There was other stuff there. The video the... depicts a church and Catholic symbols such as stigmata. It features the Ku Klux Klan's burning crosses and a dream sequence about kissing a black saint. The Vatican condemned the video. Uh, they boycotted products by soft drink manufacturer Pepsi, who used the song in their commercial. So they canceled the sponsorship. They used the song. That's why they're, they got mm-hmm. upset. They uh, yeah. canceled the contract, but allowed her to keep the five million bucks. Oh, well, that's not bad. Of course bad. they used the song. You know why? It's a good deal. It's a great song. Damn right. Like a Pepsi, like a prayer, or something like that. Did she yeah. um, kiss Jesus in, in that commercial as well? Right Probably in the not. crotch. Right in the crotch. What? <laughs> uh, speaking of crotches, or Long perhaps time. just that area, um, contestants on this show right here. Survivor. Survivor. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Well, they're filmed pretty much 24 7, but they do get some privacy when they're doing what, gentlemen? Peeing. Uh, both. When they're using the bathroom. Yes. Only when they're alone, though. That's right. We have new news coming out by Jeff Probst, the host of the show, former host. Probst. No, he's Probst. still hosting. No, he's still a guy. If you're going to the bathroom with another person or people, that's your own thing, but we will keep filming you. So if it's a group poop... It's going to be on TV. Wait, do they do that? Are there group poops? They say when you poop in groups, you might talk strategy. <laughs> and if you're talking strategy, they're going to get it on camera. So, yeah. Poop. Is this stemming from an, uh, some sort of incident where they were using the uh, anonymity of a group poop to stay off the camera? I mean, I think that's a good strategy, if you ask me. Would be. They but. do this because in Big Brother, there's cameras in the bathrooms. If the contestants try to go in there, if they go to the bathroom, they won't show them. But if they go in there and try to talk about something, they will show them. That's the thing. Like, I would totally be up for one of these reality shows. Mm-hmm. But I am just so um, scared about when it comes to the BMs. Wait, which one would be absolutely your dream to be on? Oh, dream? I yeah. Don't know like, if any of them would be a dream. It's more of like. Bachelorette. Or or would you be Honestly, most excited? Honestly, when I was single, I was like, let me just get on there and see what happens. <laughs> see how far I can make it? I, like... I was saying for me. Oh. <laughs> um, that was I... a marriage joke. 
<laughs> I would think, I mean, Big Brother, I don't know enough, and it just seems like a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. yeah you got to know the whole universe, kind of. Um, you say you'd be worried about the BM, Sabrina, but for the most part, they kind of avoid cutting that kind of stuff into the final product. Like, what about I, the sounds? I, I, I don't think mm-hmm. they, I think they avoid that kind of stuff because not a lot of people on primetime television want to watch or listen to that. No, but what they will do is if the other guests who live in the house are like, man, it really smells bad or man, yeah. you're really good, they'll, they'll play that little well, banter. Sabrina. Even in the Golden Bachelor, like it was part of the bloopers where everybody was farting and then, bloop, bloop. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well done. You know what I mean? Speaking of sounds. That was a poop joke. <laughs> we're, uh, we're on fire. Dad guys. jokes, poop jokes. We got it, baby. We got Speaking it. Speaking of poop. <laughs> Kanye, Kanye West. West. Kanye West. Scoopity poopity whoop. And here's the scoop. We now have some more details about this. I believe it was like 42 page new lawsuit mm. from the employees of Donda Academy. And it's just uh, very bizarre to the point where it was a slideshow on Instagram, and I just grabbed the screenshots of the best oh boy. best blurbs. And it goes a little something like this. Yee's employee says when he was threatening them, he spoke in Mario's voice. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just the beginning, my friends. I like that. He told employees if they got fat, they would get fired. All right, good, good. Sean. You want fat employees? Is that what you want? You want a world with a bunch of fat employees around? Yeah, why not? They're Good they're God. they're fat. They're happy. Uh, um, I'm glad you're not the CEO. We'll have fat people all over iHeartRadio if that was the case. I mean, we kind of do. <laughs> Don't do that. No, do you know what we have at iHeartRadio? We got some people who are very interested in uh, all sorts of little hobbies like sewing. Yeah, there's the <laughs> yeah. whole sewing crew at iHeartRadio. Right. Apparently, did you see the email about freezing eggs? No, is that something they sent out? I'm I'm signing up. All right. I'm like, do you want to freeze your eggs because you don't know when you're going to have a baby? Maybe you want to have a mm. baby one day? I got to tell you, bud. Hmm. We've been talking about this a lot. <laughs> You've been dropping hints everywhere. What? There's no you... hint to be dropped. No, I mean, I'm, I'm at that, the age. I just say, like, is, is Does this it make something you uncomfortable, that... Sean? Well, why would that make me uncomfortable? I don't know, because you've noticed how much I've talked about it, I guess. No, I'm just saying, like, it seems like this is coming more into focus in your life. I like, mean, this I'm is... getting at an age where I'm surrounded by it, and I have to consider that in the next couple of years, I'm going to have a baby, I have a baby. Next next couple of years? Sean, I'm, I'm have a, you have to, I'm going to be 34 this month. Well, look, Between 34 could... and 44 would be probably the prime time to have a child. What percent chance are you... Going to have a child. I'm going to continue with the Kanye. <laughs> you Jesus brought Christ, it up. Man. You keep bringing it up. You're I the brought one it up because I... of the damn email. We're talking about sales uh-huh. and stuff. I didn't even see you the email. Said and, but you said you were going to do it. Yeah, I would like to have a child one day. All right. Um, What's, why, why do you have to be defensive about it? Employee claims that Kanye <laughs> threatened so him. Weird. By, you're so weird. That's the <laughs> That's thing. Weird. You make I'm it so you. weird. No, you I'm asking you a legitimate so question. Like, oh, why do you have to be defensive? I'm like, I'm not being defensive. I would like to get through the story and not talk about how I'm going to procreate in the near future or I not. think it's way more and interesting. a percentage for you. Uh, it's not the next episode. It's not part of the entertainment. It's not my, my ovaries. It's part of the show. Your ovaries aren't then part of the show. Then save it for another segment, but yeah. on the weekends. So on with the show, ovaries. Uh, I'm going to punch you in the face, he claimed. Uh, the no, employees. I thought that was you. Nah. <laughs> mm. uh, I probably will claim it very soon if we keep talking about it. Okay. Before abruptly changing tone, mimicking Super Mario's victory dance and saying, I'm going to give you one more chance, another life. And then Yi went on a rant and then had staff members come to the meeting room and watch the Batman on mute in silence. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I'm a little more grateful for, I guess, your employment situation um, if you're not over at Donda Academy. And speaking of video games, uh, Tekken, 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 T E K K E N. Yeah, very, it's a fight game. Very, very popular. And now they the fight creator, about kids, mostly. And now the creator, uh, Kashur, Kashur, how about we'll call him Catman? All Kat right. Harada has responded to numerous memes about Waffle House being added to the game. Have you heard about this? No. People are now demanding it after viral videos showing brawls over at Waffle House and their reputation for staying oh. open no matter what. 
Yeah, they want yeah. them to remember, add Waffle House to the video game. Remember the lady that I can't remember it right. You guys will know more probably. She like either caught a chair or somebody like threw a chair <laughs> at her and then they um they memed it like she was in the video game. So I guess they want that to be a location where they can fight in the video game. That's kind of funny. They say, Mr. Arata, can you please add this stage to Tekken 8, please? One fan wrote, okay. I only ask about this request once. Why do some communities send me a request for Waffle House? That's what the creator said. Please be sure to explain the basis for the request. He sounds like a robot. Including the original story, history, and background. I look forward to an explanation from someone who knows more. Now, the strongest Man. fighters come here at 2 a.m. after a night out and drinking. One fan offered, while another wrote, it's a common meeting spot for mutual combat in the United States. You think Waffle House hates that? They must not like it, right? Because it kind of is a bad thing for Waffle House? I just think that Waffle House has been around for so long that they're just like, okay. Because they also have a great reputation for being the go-to place and whether they should close everything down for a natural disaster or not. Yeah, yeah, they, they have, got that. Uh, Great, um, what was it, like a soundtrack every Christmas that comes out, makes them a good chunk of change? Yeah, they got a lot of things going on. Culturally, I think they're pretty significant, actually, Waffle House. I think it would be great if it was in Tekken 8. Uh, Inter- be National the- uh, House of Pancakes is way better than Waffle House. But- I keep trying to get Ashley to go to Waffle House, and she goes, yeah. and they, I, I mentioned it again the other day, and she goes, I don't like waffles. And I go, babe, babe. <laughs> There's other things in the I, house. They I, I don't feel, have that many options, though. She's not wrong to worry about that. They only have a very limited amount of things. Eggs and bacon and sausage. And it's yeah. a breakfast place. Guess yeah. what? Well, IHOP has. Salads. IHOP has all of the things. They, they have, have burgers everything. Too at Waffle House, don't they? I don't even no, know. No, no, no. Waffle House has a super limited menu. It's like eight things or something. It's very small. But 24-7, and you get to see fights. I like that. Step up, um, IHOP. Uh, Matt Walsh, he is in the news for... Claiming something that I think a good amount of people do not agree with, but here he is making the headlines. Uh, He was claiming that Beyonce is a, quote, mediocre singer who only gains success because she's attractive. Womp, 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 womp. He made comments while responding to feedback from a fan on his show who wrote, Beyonce and mediocre don't belong in the same sentence. And then he went on this uh, rant. She says, Beyonce and mediocre don't belong in the same sentence. Well, I would agree if you're talking about her looks or her dance moves. Like, she's a good-looking woman, uh, no question. She's a great dancer. But the truth is, and you know this, you know it deep down. You know it deep down, Autumn, uh-huh. that uh, if she was not an attractive woman, she would have no career as a singer. Like, you know, and, and that's, not, it's, that's not a statement that's true of every female singer. There are plenty of female singers who have had great careers, legendary careers, despite right. um, not being necessarily beautiful. And the reason that they had those careers is because their music was that incredible. But they're a great artist. But Beyonce, take out the looks, and she's, you know, she's a passably okay singer who doesn't play any instruments, doesn't write her own music. So on talent alone, on merit alone, she's mediocre. Uh, sorry, sorry to say. It's sorry. Just, it's the truth. That's the truth. That's it. Uh, that's uh, pretty much what I'm going to say, and it's kind of a Mad Gibbs thing, uh, or Mad Lips all the time, and then I'll move on to something else that I don't know anything about. Of course, people are now losing their mind and completely disagreeing because... They have eyes and ears, but uh, Matt Walsh will live to tell another stupid tale. Uh, Dolly Parton, on the other hand, has a message for anybody who has uh, comments about her collaboration with Beyonce and any haters. And it's her clip from the 1982 movie, The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas. Or can you say it's Elaine, actually? Like I say whore. Wait, wait, whore? Whore. Whore. Are you listening, good? Keep that bleaches and blood suckers uh-huh. off the back rows. I know how to use a gun. And nobody messes with my girls. No way. And any questions you might have about the way I run this place, don't drop and grind behind my back. Just tell me face to face. I'm open minded. Say it all. Then go upstairs and pack. The door is that away. The door is that away. On the boob tube tonight, we've got the fifth season premiere of Star Trek Discovery on Paramount Plus. Uh, Also good for them for having five seasons. The premiere of the limited series Ripley on Netflix. Son of a Critch on the CW. And you catch Dr. Phil and g Easy on Fallon. Follow your dreams and me on Instagram at Sabrina Ambra. And most importantly, fight with me, America. Smoke weed every day. Thank you, Sabrina. When we come back, uh, your eggs. You should be very careful. Whether you get them at Waffle House or International House of Pancakes. Or uh, from there. 
You need to be very careful about them right now. Don't eat any fried eggs until further notice. Why? Well, it's kind of important. It's coming up next on the news, Chunky. Your 30 seconds of airtime only waits. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1. Tap the microphone and speak. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Doing a quick checkup on some of the major roadways. Traveling on I-4, you could expect your regular delays before US-27 and approaching the beach line. There's slowdowns through the city on I-4 between Michigan Street and Robinson Street and a bit of congestion on Florida's Turnpike northbound approaching I-75. Authorities are clearing up an accident on State Road 429 southbound between Ocoee Popka Road and West Road. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Today, we're the largest injury firm in the world, and I'm thankful to you for trusting us all these years. We'll always be here for the people, not the powerful. Injured? The choice is easy. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Prepare yourself for the experience of a lifetime with Beat, performing the 80s music of King Crimson. Friday, September 27th, Hard Rock Live Orlando. Tickets on sale Friday at 10 a.m. at Ticketmaster and the Hard Rock Live box office. Hey, homeowners, Russ Rollins here to talk to you about something serious, your power bill. Last summer was tough, but this year could be even worse. So don't wait until the last minute to get protection and savings from solar power and backup power. Solar Source has a new pay-as-you-go solar package that lets you start with an affordable base system and add solar panels over time. Plus, their pay-as-you-go battery backup is awesome, and it lets you add critical backup power as you go. Schedule a free consultation at solarsource.com monsters. Get ready for a stress-free summer. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. People think Florida is salty because most of our state is surrounded by salt water. But it's the other states that are salty. Why? Because we get to enjoy McDonald's breakfast bagels year-round. You see, most parts of the country aren't as lucky as us and can't wake up to a steak, egg, and cheese bagel with a tender, juicy steak patty and savory grilled onions. Or a sausage, egg, and cheese bagel with a sizzling hot pork sausage patty. Or a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel with thick-cut applewood smoked bacon. Enjoy savory breakfast bagels only at McDonald's. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. At participating McDonald's. When we made our McDonald's Spicy Chicken McNuggets, you were praise hands emoji. Then we ran out, and you were streaming tears emoji. Now they're back, so you can be grinning face with sweat emoji. Order ahead on the McDonald's app. 
spicy Chicken McNuggets are back for a hot minute at McDonald's. Now get 20% off any purchase of $5 or more when you order in the McDonald's app. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Offer valid through April 21st, 2024 at participating McDonald's. Valid once a day. Must opt into rewards. Exclusive tax. Boss, did you know Safe Touch Security is the home of the 45 second or less guaranteed response? Of course, it's just one of the reasons why I hate Safe Touch. For a limited time, save up to 50% on select security systems. Call 888-723-8682 or go to safetouch.com. State license EF2001945. My wife and I both, we ended up mildly sick for a few months and the nasal congestion was probably the worst part. I had like a post-nasal drip, just super congested all the time. We were taking everything we possibly could, but nothing really worked. Kyrie was miserable until a friend recommended Navage. Navage offers immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus, germs, and other airborne irritants. Don't live in misery this cold season. Use Navage so you can breathe easier sleep better and feel your best right away the biggest thing the Vaj has done has completely cleaned out my nasal passages it, it was from the first use i was able to just clear out anything that was stopping me from breathing correctly Navage helps me clear the way literally clear the way for me to operate better in the rest of my life experience the Navage difference yourself Navage is available at navage.com or at walmart walgreens cvs and rite aid Navage nav AGE. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to lifelock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Do you need your contractor's license? In four short weekends with Camtech School of Construction, you'll be able to ace the state exam. Get legal, get licensed, get Camtech. Join us for a free info seminar tonight at 7 p.m. at the Orlando Wyndham Garden. 1-800-875-PASS. Victim of a slip and fall? It takes one phone call to take back control of your life. Anajar and Levine will fight to get you the compensation you deserve. Call me, Mark Anajar, for a free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Orlando. This year full of real radio is sponsored by Wasi's Meat Market, the best place to buy a big green egg. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Forever at the crossroads between viral news and total chaos. And he says, you're teasing about eggs here. How are you going to tease that right after I had a hangover burger for lunch? That fried egg was amazing, though, he says. A hangover burger, typically just like like a burger with a fried egg right over the top, I think. And, and maybe some bacon. Yeah, maybe a little bit of bacon on there to mix it up. And then you like when you wake up not feeling well, you put that grease mound on top of your stomach, and it, it helps you get through the day. Um, I'll get to that. What's going on with the eggs and why you shouldn't eat fried eggs until further notice in just a bit. I didn't know about this. So this was a lesson for me as well, and uh, I will get into that. You can join us on the show. Go to thenewsjunkie.com and send us a dispatch right now. Um, before we get to those, though, let's get into the important information. And also, we're going to be talking about the App Apple River um, stabbing trial here eventually on the show. Sabrina Sealand, I'm not sure if you guys are tuned into that at all, if you've seen any of the coverage of not it. Not the Apple River one, no. You got another stabbing you're following? No, like three or four. Where's that? Oh, <laughs> right. Recent right. stabbing. Yeah, this the the Apple River stabbing case is getting a lot of international and national news, and it's about a young group of teens. They keep calling them young drunk teens, and then an old man with the, the guy's really was just in his fifties in his early fifties, and they're at this river in uh, um, oh where were they? Uh, Apple the river, river? Is, well, Apple River, Wisconsin is where it was, but it's in the uh, Hudson, Wisconsin area, and. It was this beautiful area where you jump on this river and you go on, 
your little tube, your inner tube, and you could float around. It's like a big, like, natural, lazy river, which sounds so amazing to me. I would love to do that. And they're out there enjoying themselves. This happened back in 2022. And there was a run in between the guy in his 50s by himself and this big group of like a dozen teenagers that were on the football team and stuff. And he started stabbing them in, in the fight that they got into in the back and forth that they got into the skirmish that they got into. And uh, he killed one of them with like a little handheld knife, like a, like a little, you know, the little knife you get, like you might be in the Cub Scouts and you flip it out and the blade locks, you know what I'm talking about? I don't know about like knives. A pocket knife? Yeah. Like a pocket knife where the blade locks out, you know? He had one of those in his pocket. A switchblade. Kind of, uh, is it a switchblade? Maybe. It's a, like, it's a switchblade if you hit a button and it's... Like, I'm talking about this big. Look, about this big, and then you fly, flop out the blade, and it it locks in place. And then to loosen it, you have to hit the button to like, get the yeah, blade. Like what, yeah, like uh, what Fritz gave us. Um, yes, exactly like that. And about one. that size, actually. And so the guy pulls that out, and the people who he was fighting with didn't even know he had started stabbing them. And so they looked over, and one of their friends was dying. And so he's facing life in prison. But How do you not know you're getting stabbed? Uh, it's really, it's a wild ride. We'll, we'll go on it. Maybe we'll play some of the video when we get into jury duty in this uh, Apple River stabbing um, in a little bit on the show. So that'll take a bit more uh, air. Right now, there's a huge issue, and fried eggs are a no-go. Uh, is that your go-to when you guys have eggs? Is it scrambled, fried? What are you sunny going with? Up. Sunny side up. Sunny side up. Okay, those are. I think that's like a real Just bad had one option. Yesterday, I love them. I'm with them. I, I'm and I do love a sandwich with a fried egg on top too. But the largest supplier of eggs in the United States has stopped production after chickens at one of its Texas plants tested positive for the highly contagious bird flu, the latest in a spike of the cases across the nation. The CDC says that the human health risk to the U.S. public from these viruses is still considered to be low, but you should be aware of what's going on here. Now, safely and safely handled and properly cooked eggs is what you're going for. What does that mean? Well, I don't know what the breakdown on this is, but some people, I do know, some people take their eggs when they get home and they put them on the counter and they keep them like room temperature. Uh, no, I'm fridge on fridge too yeah we put them right into the refrigerator we got the little things that, like the little egg holder dealy dally that's in the door of the refrigerator mm -hmm. we usually use that and that's the way to go um they say we to have safely, one of those that that holds two more eggs than a dozen why uh it, it sounds like uh why would you need that but it's perfect for when you're down to your last two eggs. You go, I'm going right. to buy another dozen. Oh, and then you, maybe you load up the thing and you go, oh, I still got these last two here. Now I got a full thing of eggs. Oh, that's kind of handy, actually. Yep. That's a, somebody who started that was smarter than the rest of the room when they figured that out. They said to safely handle eggs means to store them in a refrigerator at 40 degrees Fahrenheit or colder as soon as you come home from the grocery store. That is to prevent the growth of bacteria. You also want to avoid using eggs that are cracked or dirty. And remember to wash your eggs or wash your hands, utensils, and surfaces with soap and water after they come in contact with those raw eggs. But it's more than that. It's also about how you're eating eggs when there's an issue with bird flu. Uh, and we have that right now. And let me see. I'm going to scroll down to this USA Today article where they talked about what we should be doing. Uh, properly cooked eggs is what the FDA recommends. They said properly cooked eggs are more important now than ever. That is eggs cooked to an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit, the CDC says. That's likely to kill disease-causing germs. In other words, over-easy and sunny-side-up eggs with runny yolk are not considered properly cooked, Ew. they suggest. In typical scenarios without bird flu outbreaks to consider, the USDA says everybody's advised against eating raw or undercooked egg yolks, whites, or products containing them, namely to avoid salmonella. But if you have an outbreak like this, bird flu is the thing we're looking at, you got to cook eggs until both the yolk and the white are absolutely firm to be safe. Otherwise, you can get bird flu. Now, right. So I love that advice. Now... How sure are we that everyone we go to outside of our homes for eggs is following that? Um, I don't know. Your you have to just, your Waffle House. 
you'd have to look, I guess, but can you, you can look and tell, I guess, visually how well your egg is cooked, but you can't tell what temperature it was cooked at. Well, I think pretty much uh, based on the story, it's if the yolk is runny, this is not You're gonna funny. You're going to feel funny. Yeah. 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 You need to so go with pat, it. pat him on the back. Uh, here's what happens if you get bird flu from your runny ass eggs. Symptoms may be non-existent or subtle, such as eye redness or a mild flu, or they may show up as a fever above 100 degrees Fahrenheit and pneumonia. It could prove fatal. In the last two decades, more than 800 people have been infected with bird flu globally, and more than half of those people have died. Oh, damn. So, um, they said the first human case of avian influ- influenza from the current outbreak was in 2022 in Colorado when a farmer who was involved in killing chickens tested positive. Uh, there is a lot of fear of this in Asian countries, which is why they were on the mask thing far before you know the rest of us were, and they stay on it to this day. Like if you go to Japan, higher numbers than you see in uh, America or Western places still wear masks despite the uh, risk being much lower. All right. Um, I've seen it outside a lot lately. What, and masks? I, yes. And mm. I go, well, that, that was never a thing. We never needed to wear them outside. Barring, no. unless you're trying to, like, really, like, you're having a really bad time with the pollen this year. Yeah. I don't understand why I would see people But summertime outside. always seemed to be, like, the uptick of COVID cases yeah. in the last couple of years. But COVID included, you see, like, saying, like, the mask outside is not going to help. It's like the people who are wearing masks inside their vehicles by themselves. Yeah. And you go, oh, damn. And some of those people just got really, 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 really scared. I try to be careful about it because I don't know which of those people uh, have, like, immunocompromised. Comorbidities. Yeah, like what what they have. And maybe they just always want to stay away from getting sick and spreading along diseases to maybe somebody that they know that's in that position. But I fear that there's a large portion of these people who are just forever in the doomer category, which don't do that, man. Don't you, you have one life, just enjoy your life. I see like the cross section sometimes, like if it's a Palestinian protest, I'm like, look at the number of them that are also wearing masks. That's really weird how there's a, you know, the concentric circles there are so intertwined in the Venn diagram. Uh, I don't know why that is. It's a political thing. Maybe Probably, but I hope more people who don't need to do it stop doing stuff like that. But you're not wrong. The My allergies are terrible right now. And maybe there's people who go when the allergies are really bad, they go outside and they try to wear a mask to make it better. I, I just don't know anymore. Every once um, in a while when I'm cleaning the house, if I'm about to like clean something that is exceptionally dusty, like behind a television that's been hanging off the wall for a while or, yep. or, or the fan. Yeah, if, yeah. If I'm about to go that, I'll try and go find like kind of the extra COVID masks lying around or, mm-hmm. or maybe some of those, uh, what, what do we call those gators? What, what do we, the neck gator, the neck or, gator. We had a, we had a different name for it. The buff, the buff. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Yeah. I got to try to find one of those before I get the dust kicked up everywhere. Cause I don't know. It could, couldn't, couldn't hurt. It could be some of that. I, I just don't know. There's too many people and too much variety. Um, oh, somebody also says masks at protests are because they don't want to be seen. I don't know. That is sometimes the case, and it depends on what kind of protest we're talking about. But there's also like a cross-section of doomers that are aligned politically with some of these protests. And then you see them, and it's a bunch of Taylor Lorenzes where they're just like wearing two N95s in 2024. And you go, oof, God, I, I hope you have to do that rather than want to do that for some reason. Uh, Kurt has a dispatch for us, and he's talking about eggs. So let's listen in right here to Kurt's eggs take. And here goes Kurt Akey with that right now. John, America is one of the few countries in the world that requires eggs to be refrigerated. I was in Mexico, and their eggs aren't refrigerated mm-hmm. there. They stayed right on the counter for over a week give it a try get some free range eggs wait oh i don't think we have to store the eggs at room temperature i think they tell us to because you're less likely to get the viruses and stuff or whatever's being transmitted by the or the bacteria i think it's um, just like if you get eggs from a friend that's got chickens oh yeah you just you can keep them on the shelf and, and not in the but there's something about uh, the, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. There, something about why uh, what the eggs go through before they're on the grocery shelf that I think they 
have to recommend they be refrigerated. Huh? Well, I, I was thinking maybe it would be like because the chickens have had uh, antibiotics and the chickens that don't have antibiotics are more likely. I, if you know, chicken people want to hear from you right now. That's right. I know you're out there, chicken people. Tell us why that is. Go to thenewsjunkie.com. Send us a dispatch right now. Oh, when it's because they've had uh, antibiotics. See, lane man, what is uh, happening? Jackson has changed this, man. This is <laughs> If Jackson could <laughs> oh my gosh, you hear made, this. We made a, a, a chicken joke like that not too long ago, Sabrina. <laughs> it's just, you know, one an hour, maybe. <laughs> Quick break. When we come back, Tiger Woods, somehow his sex life is back in the news for the most strange reason you can imagine. Lots of strokes, Elaine. That is <laughs> coming up that next. That is an awful joke, Sabrina. <laughs> On the news, junkie. Real Radio is on Instagram at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. All lanes are still blocked on State Road 453 northbound north of State Road 429 and approaching Sorrento Avenue. The right lane is blocked on State Road 429 southbound between Ocoee Apopka Road and West Road. There's an earlier accident causing delays on Landstar Boulevard southbound at Town Center Boulevard. And on Semarin Boulevard, watch out for an accident at Wakiva Springs Road. If you see traffic troubles, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This this report is sponsored by Indeed.com. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Their end-to-end solution helps you attract, interview, and hire candidates all year round. Schedule and conduct virtual interviews right from your Indeed dashboard. Learn more by visiting Indeed.com slash credit. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Did you know it's Stress Awareness Month? There's a lot of things to stress about. One of the things that people stress about, though, is how their health is. You really don't know unless you have some sort of symptom. Guess what? Life Imaging FLA can help you with that. Early detection of heart disease and early detection of cancer is a game changer when it comes to terms and treatment. And I was able to go to Life Imaging FLA, had my heart scanned, and guess what? I have nothing to stress about. My heart is really good. But other people have gone and found out they had blockage. Get over to Life Imaging FLA now and get this free heart scan. Pick up your cell phone, dial pound 250, say the words free heart scan, and you'll be connected in seconds. There's a few minimum requirements, but this is a value of $699, and it is worth it. Life Imaging FLA, when you talk to them about the free heart scan, also inquire about cancer screening. That's super important as well. Life Imaging FLA, you'll get the option to receive a one-time auto-dial text message from iHeart Media. Life Imaging FLA, pick up your cell phone, dial pound 250, say the words free heart scan. In the 90s, New York detective Louis Scar Marcella locked up the worst criminals. Putting bad guys away. There's no feeling like it. Then jailhouse lawyers took aim, led by Derek Hamilton. Scarcella took me to the precinct and lied. 20 men eventually walked free. Now, in the Burden podcast, after a decade of silence, Louis Scarcella finally tells his story. And so does Derek Hamilton. Listen to The Burden on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. At Mayo Clinic in Florida, we are predicting the unpredictable. Our experts are using a patient's own anatomy to create 3D printed life-size organ models to map out challenges ahead of time, making complex surgeries more precise, efficient, and less invasive. We are making more possible at Mayo Clinic because every day we're doing what's never been done. 
Learn more at mayoclinic.org slash possible. Mayo Clinic, you know where to go. People think Florida is salty because most of our state is surrounded by salt water. But it's the other states that are salty. Why? Because we get to enjoy McDonald's breakfast bagels year-round. You see, most parts of the country aren't as lucky as us and can't wake up to a steak, egg, and cheese bagel with a tender, juicy steak patty and savory grilled onions. Or a sausage, egg, and cheese bagel with a sizzling hot pork sausage patty. Or a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel with thick-cut applewood smoked bacon. Enjoy savory breakfast bagels only at McDonald's. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba at participating McDonald's. When we made our McDonald's spicy chicken McNuggets, you were praise hands emoji. Then we ran out, and you were streaming tears emoji. Now they're back, so you can be grinning face with sweat emoji. Order ahead on the McDonald's app. Spicy chicken McNuggets are back for a hot minute at McDonald's. Now get 20% off any purchase of $5 or more when you order in the McDonald's app. ba da ba 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 Offer valid through April 21st, 2024 at participating McDonald's. Valid once a day. Must opt into rewards. Excludes tax. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to lifelock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. This year full of real radio is brought to you by Crimeline.org. Give a tip anonymously. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Lost 80s. Playing those songs you forgot you knew from the 80s. Get back in time. Tina Turner, and more, all commercial-free. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Lost 80s, and listen now. iHeartRadio. Free? Never sounded so good. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. The most viral newsroom on the planet is still humming along. This is... To our friends in West Palm Beach and on the Treasure Coast on Real Radio uh, 92.1 and 101.7. I was just uh, seeing something yesterday on social media as I was scrolling by. And one of the folks who used to be on the Real Radio station Facebook. down there when I was Instagram, younger. Twitter, y'all see and this? when, uh, you know, the Love Doctors were on there with Rich and Glenn. Mm-hmm. And uh, all these great shows were all on at one point in time. Uh, there's a guy named uh, Josh, I think it's Cohen, and he was on there, and I saw yesterday, like, he is, doesn't have his gig anymore. He was working at, like, a sports oh, station or something. Job. I guess so. I, there, I don't know if there's, like, just, I think um, there, almost everybody's firing people right now. Like, we're not immune to it. iHeart just had some layoffs and stuff. A lot of tech companies are having layoffs. Maybe that the sports stations are having it. Honestly, I don't know. I didn't listen to whatever he was saying about it. I just saw that there was... Somebody who posted on on Facebook, um, and he used to be one of the bigger shows on it at that time. He got bounced out at some point. I don't know. If, I don't remember if it was for the monsters. The timeline of that is so messy in my head because uh, for a while the monsters were on there, and it was a. You know, it was like I used to listen to day in and day out real radio down in West Palm Beach, and go to events and and all kinds of stuff. I dug it. Uh, but now I, I guess he's not, you know, he got booted or something from the station that he was on, which is a shame. I mean, I wish I think we should bring some people back from the real radio uh, West Palm Beach heyday. I would love to see that. I would love for us to go down there. And I don't know how much interest there would be in any of them doing this, maybe hovering around zero. But It would be cool if there was. I would love to go back there. And do the show live from West Palm Beach oh, from yeah. the station. What's the uh, festival that we're definitely going to go to? <laughs> Sunfest? <laughs> Every we'll year. Go. We'll do it at some point in time. We trudge on. We've been on there forever on that station. Um, but I would love to, like, sit down, uh, especially to see what the, you know, the love docs are up to. I didn't hear anything else about them, like, if there were any other health issues. or As far as I know, 
God, I, I hope I'm not stepping on something here. But as far as I know, they were both still with us and uh, out there somewhere. So I'd love to hear, love to hear what they had going on. It's strange, you know, sometimes in radio, when people retire, it's just a sayonara for good. Yeah. You, you just like, you don't ever hear from them again. Well, I mean, and, the, the, the nature of the job is that you hear from them nonstop. And so and, at, at, some, at some point, like <laughs> usually a retirement, uh, yeah. a, a, a retirement that you choose as a, a to do as, yeah. a, as opposed to one that you're kind of pushed into. Usually that's when you, you're, you know, I'm not going to hear much from this person. I'm anymore. never going away all the way until I'm gurgling my last gurgles. I'm not going to fade away like that. I, I would want to still go live. Yes, hell yeah, I would. I, I have it in my blood. This is what I love to do. I, I can't see, and maybe it's because I'm not old enough yet. And even though I've got, you know, you are curmudgeon enough. I mean, you got that. That is just natural to me. <laughs> uh, that just comes you think naturally. It gets worse as you get older, or you're, you've already reached peak curmudgeon? I don't know about me, but I think in general, people tend to get more and more and more and more locked into their ways yeah. as time goes on. You don't get like old guy mad. Just no, yet. not uh, well. I, I, I get, I get mad like people might interpret it to be old guy mad, but it's usually just Sean is right mad, and there's a lot of dumb people floating around him right now. Um, not, not to say you. I'm not talking about you guys. I'm talking about the, you know, the dispatchers or you know, whoever's yip yapping and uh, chatting our, over our on fans, the stream. The fans. Yeah. Is what, uh, <laughs> I love. There's them, another word for dispatchers. I is love our fans. Them, but some, sometimes they're they're a little bit on the the wrong side of things. A little bit on the wrong side. A uh, B-Haw says, where is Drew Garabo? I, I think he does something in Tampa. Yeah, he's still. in Tampa. Um, but, yeah, the folks in West Palm, there was like a point where that station was was everything. When I was young, when I was a little kid, I, I said, I called in. They used to have, oh, uh, damn it. Hey, I'm Sean. A, scooter. They, well, call they, scooter. They, on the Love Doctors, they used to just randomly take calls. They'd call it the quickies. And they'd shoot through them without screening, as we've done before on the show many times. And, uh... I called as a kid. I've told the story for a long time ago, and my friends and I would do Beavis and Butthead impersonations. Not that we we weren't particularly good at them, <laughs> but, but like, we didn't know what you to were do. Known like that was your. They knew it was you guys, or multiple mm, people would. Multiple people. Would yeah, we weren't even the that. exclusive ones oh, doing right. that. But we were kids. We were kids listening to talk radio, which was weird enough to begin with. How many young kids, fourteen years old, are listening to talk radio? Very few nowadays. Um, Listen to maybe, morning shows. I remember because yeah, I was on the way to school. And yeah, then with talking the music more, like a mix of that. But um, sit on maybe the phone and wait to get on the air. Mm -hmm. oh, Radio Disney, baby. Yep. Uh, <laughs> that it, was the day. Made it twice oh. and uh, won a Furby one time. There you go. Yeah, I mean, I think that um, a lot of those guys are still around somewhere, but it would be interesting to see them uh, brought back into the fold. What's to, the to Grease Man doing sense? these days? <laughs> Is he alive? Is he alive? I don't know. Grease Man's still with us? Trapped. God, I'd love to bring all these folks back. We can, through our friend Eric Nagel, uh, maybe we can reignite the Opie and Anthony flames and see what uh, it's like there. People, the people have been <laughs> trying that, trying for that for a while. Uh, of course, he got Opie without an ounce of talent in his body, and Anthony with, he's just so swimming in the racism deep end that he can't, can't control himself now. It says uh, the Grease Man is still alive. Is he? Oh, Grease Man, you out there? I've only heard your show one time. Or a YouTube clip, I think, is what I saw of the Grease Man. Does he strangle he, nowadays? No, he's not He's not the Greasy Strangler. He didn't segue on into that. Do, if do you, you remember one of the things he got fired for? No, he got fired for doing something? Uh, you know, because he's a big shock jock. He was shock jock? What did he do? What was his shock, shock jock moment? I believe it was the Grease Man. Mm -hmm. that, Grease yep, man. it was. It's because it's on his Wikipedia page. He uh, created an uproar regarding the, at the time, brand new federal holiday of Martin Luther King Day. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, God. Homeboy was anti-MLK Day? Well, no, it seemed like he was pro-MLK Day. Or maybe oh. he just uh, didn't get it. But he said, why don't we shoot four more and get the whole week off? Uh, oh, huh. my God. Wait, now, oh, wait, 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 wait. Shoot four more black people yes. and then get a week. Okay, Jeez, now I, I can see why that would be controversial. Horrible. Uh, I, I have not heard of him much. Ted says, listen to him many times out of WAP in Jacksonville. That's where he was based, right? 
Beach Man, or I think so for a lot of time. Yeah, those. I are think all, that's where he kept coming back to. I think that's that was, like the place they're like, yeah, sure, good. you can come back, Grease Man. It, that was you, the heyday uh, all these guys. We just mentioned it earlier this week, and you were talking about Don Imus. Uh huh. And the today's the anniversary of he was terrible. Him guy. saying the the nappy headed hose. Oh yeah, yeah. He got hit hard with that, On this and then it built his career back up again afterwards. On um, auction channel, ten thirty <laughs> Imus in the morning auctions come up. <laughs> It was like Imus, and then it was like you could buy cattle, cattle yeah. afterwards. And he had a stupid ass cowboy hat and that stethoscope headset that he would wear. And I would listen to. Well, I think he had to wear the stethoscope headset uh-huh. because of, uh, uh, traditional headphones would get in the way of the cowboy hat. They can't wear them at the same time; it just doesn't work. But I, I've told you many times my true inspiration in radio. Not was thirty Imus in the morning. Deidre showed me her sweater meat this morning. Neil Rogers was a genius way before his time and was just everything. And that guy, uh, my my boss at the water company, uh, made me listen to Neil Rogers. And I was like, who is this lunatic? And then I was like, oh, I see the genius. I see what this guy is doing. He was the best of the best. But I only, only the people I listened to, I usually would hate listen to shows. Uh, and I would hate listen to Opie when he had his satellite radio show. And I first got my car and it had free satellite radio in it. And I would just turn it on because it was the worst thing I'd ever heard. Like, it was so bad. And I knew that somebody was making millions and millions of dollars to do this job, and they were that bad. And it, which it blew my mind, honestly. Like, it, was, it blew my mind that it could get to that low of a quality at that high of a level. Uh, and then I would listen to Imus on podcast in his last six months or so because Imus at the time was sick, and he kept having these coughing fits, and he would hit the button and be like, ladies and gentlemen, Amos is in the middle of his coughing fit right now. Oh, my now. gosh. Is there audio of this? I don't know. But it would be like, Amos <laughs> coughing. <laughs> it, it, it would be like, Amos, Amos can't talk to you right now. He's in the middle of one of his coughing fits. Maybe Deidre can come down the stairs with a, a breast dangling around and, and wake him up once more. <laughs> and, and he'd be like, what, dude? And Like, there was 12 other Six people figures. on the show. Six figures. If, if I went into a coughing fit right now, Sabrina would start talking or Celine would start talking and you guys would like cover for me. Hopefully he had 12 people or so on his show and he'd be like, Amos is coughing right now. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do next time you cough. <laughs> Sorry. Everybody. Uh, you want to hear the grease man, Sabrina? No. <laughs> Come on. You got to get a little familiar with him. Uh, oh, do I? Look out now. It's time to wonder what it must be like. To strap on a gun and pin on a badge and become a lawman. Oh boy, this is the whole thing. You see the all the whole crew walking behind him. Yeah, they were stacking carts and stuff. Such and this tiny guy, headphones. Yeah, yeah, he's this is way back in the day. This is 14 years old. Like they didn't have man. Pants? Went right no. in front of you. I guess he was doing video then too. I no, this is, I, th- I think this was he like started with a. A, a bit that he improvised or something, and and then they were like, "Oh, we're gonna make a this is into a movie trailer or something like that." Oh, I see. All right, so they just rolled he, with it. I, I think- oh. Shipping a bone ride. Bone ride. Looking at the carpeted floors, the teak wall, and tables. Uh, watching my video cassette player. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> <laughs> watching my video cassette player. Bone drive. <laughs> Folks, aren't you happy? Aren't you happy you got something new around here? All right? Aren't you aren't you thrilled that we exist for you and we're here for you? Go to thenewsjunkie.com and make sure you're following along each and every day. That's right, everybody. <laughs> if you want to get the whoop whoop and a wop wop, you're going to want to tune in or tune out. <laughs> Not far off. Everybody. It's, like, it's exhausting. No wonder they did so much cocaine. Uh, they did back in the day. Oh hell yeah, yeah. They yeah. were really you want getting to take into a nap them. just now in those three seconds of screaming <laughs> like that. <laughs> All right, let's go to you. Let's see what you got going on and uh, wander into your world. Here is Snob Wasson talking about Grease Man. What up, junkies? Hey, Wasson, how's it going? Hey, hey. I Hi. think I can Ooh. probably get you a couple tapes of the Grease Man if you really care to hear them. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, from some old shows. My uncle was a big fan. <laughs> Get rid of that. Uh, let me get rid of this on my side. There we go. That's not Boston. One time I talked to C-Lane in the back. Buck, buck. 
On the back box. <laughs> What's the box? We're bone box. dry here. Ooh, God. <laughs> I was talking to him in the talk back about something mm. internal back of the house. And yeah. thank God you said something. I heard. Yeah, yeah. I, I barely was paying attention. But I, yeah, there, I'm but, glad we got that. Buddy, if you're a big fan of radio and you like you? know about old school radio, like yeah. how do you not know you can't say that on the radio? We well, don't let them do dispatches for a little bit. Uh, I can, I can, I can blackball them. All right. Temporary blackball for snob Lawson. Sorry, buddy. That's how it goes. Here's Mojo talking about West Palm beach. I know this may sound weird, but I look forward to hearing all the little idiosyncrasies that go along with your program. Mm -hmm. And I just heard Sean mention West Palm Beach, and he did not add the bow, 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 bow. Wow. I was kind of disappointed. Oh, my God. Well, see ya. I'm so sorry. It's pom, 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 There you go. Got it for you, Mojo. In the long run, I'll always be there. I'll find the Japan eventually, right? It's like, how long do I have to talk to search around in the button bar to find Japan? It? That's the only question. Tiger Woods not having any sex, friends. Wait, hold on. I should rephrase that. Tiger Woods is not having any sex, comma, comma friends. friends. He probably has sex friends, but he's not having sex with them right now. Why do we know During that? his master's prep, he says he's not having sex. He's trying to get really into the zone, make sure he's super focused, like boxers and do. And rock hard. Maybe. I don't know. They say it keeps the distractions away. Honestly, I feel like... There would be less sex distractions if you were having sex. So you didn't, weren't thinking about the thing you were missing out on. But boxers always do this, and then now he's doing it. Tiger Woods is like, I got to focus. I got to stay in the zone. That's what I'll, make sure. all I would think about. Well, the boxers, I the boxers, I think, and I've heard football players do this a little bit too, they think that if they, they have some, some sex mm -hmm. or just, you know, some, some alone time, yeah. that it will lessen their uh, – they're like output ability. Like it, it'll take well, away from the, uh, the strength. testosterone to rage yeah. within them. Is the idea that you have only a limited amount. And so if you utilize it like on this or that, then you're like, oh, you wasted some of it on sex. That seems weird. Doctors, let us know where that's right or wrong. Go to the news junkie.com and send us a dispatch right now. When we come back, we'll get into that Apple River stabbing trial. They now enter day four. Very contentious. What is happening? We're going to find out. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. You know you can always text us. Unless you're driving. At 77031. Standard data and message rates apply. Real Mobile is powered by Orange Buick GMC and OrangeBuickGMC.com. We are professional grade. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network. Presented by DraftKings Fantasy. UConn's men's basketball team finally arrived in Phoenix for the Final Four early this morning after several flight delays overnight. Fox Sports and AEG, they'll launch a new postseason tournament next March. The 16-team college basketball crown will be staged in Las Vegas. And the Buccaneers improved their edge rushing depth yesterday by signing former 49ers linebacker Randy Gregory to a one-year deal. I'm Scott Davidson. Check out what DraftKings has to offer this season with Code Sports because life's more fun when you're in on the action. DraftKings, the crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Age and eligibility restrictions apply. Void or prohibited. See DraftKings.com for details. Hey, if you're listening to me right now, I have one thing every business needs most. Attention. Think about it. We swipe and scroll past stuff all day. But when we're driving, cooking, working out, we're also listening. That's the magic of audio at iHeart. We're in your next customer's ears while they're living life and listening, just like you are right now. So get your customers to listen up today using radio, digital, and podcasts. Call 844-AD-HELP-5. That's 844-AD-HELP-5. Discover a career that matters at the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs. Be part of an innovative team delivering world-class health care and benefits to America's veterans. Enjoy robust benefits, work-life balance, and career development opportunities. Join a diverse and inclusive community that values your unique background and skills, a community where nearly one in three of your colleagues are veterans themselves. Apply now at vacareers.va.gov. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. 
so am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. If it plugs in, turns on whatever the make, get it all covered because everything breaks. It's a fact. Things in your home are going to break. Appliances and plumbing can cost hundreds to thousands to repair. Air conditioning, even more. Don't let home repairs break the bank. Call GoEverythingBreaks.com today and get a free quote for total home warranty protection. Everything Breaks covers major home systems and appliances starting at a dollar a day, including electronics, from cell phones to flat screens and more. Call in the next 30 minutes and get three months of coverage for half off. Plus, gain instant vehicle repair savings, too. For a free coverage quote now, call 800-FIX-IT-77. That's 800-FIX-IT-77. One free call could save you thousands. Get it all covered your way, cause everything breaks. Limitations and exclusions apply. See plan terms and conditions for details. Coverage not available in all states. Actual savings may vary based on the coverage plan and repairs needed. Call 800 fix at 77 Online at GoEverythingBreaks.com. Yo, it's Angel from the Monsters. You want a big green egg? For the lowest prices anywhere, you gotta go to my friends, Wasi's Meat Market. They will deliver and set up your big green egg so that you are cooking before they leave. Follow Wasi's Meat Market on Instagram or go to Wasi'sMeatMarket.com for your big green egg today. My wife and I both, we ended up mildly sick for a few months and the nasal congestion was probably the worst part. I had like a post nasal drip, just super congested all the time. We were taking everything we possibly could but nothing really worked. Kyrie was miserable until a friend recommended Navaj. Navaj offers immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus, germs, and other airborne irritants. Don't live in misery this cold season. Use Navaj so you can breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. The biggest thing Navaj has done has completely cleaned out my nasal passages. It, it was from the first use. I was able to just clear out anything that was stopping me from breathing correctly. Navaj helps me clear the way, literally clear the way for me to operate better in the rest of my life. Experience the Navaj difference yourself. Navaj is available at Navaj.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Navaj, N-A-V-A-G-E. Are you over 30 and putting off life insurance? It's time to get a quick quote from Ethos, a better, easier way to get term life insurance, all online with no medical exam. Answer a few health questions and you could be approved for up to $2 million. Isn't it worth 10 minutes to help protect your family's financial security? Ethos, up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at checkethos.com. That's checkethos.com. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Today, we're the largest injury firm in the world, and I'm thankful to you for trusting us all these years. We'll always be here for the people, not the powerful. Injured, the choice is easy. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. Dispensing unsolicited advice on a wide range of pointless topics. And she says, you were talking about chickens and the dangers of eating eggs right now. You don't even want to eat the fried eggs. You don't want to eat anything with like an uncooked all the way egg right now because there's some stuff going around, including uh, the avian flu. And uh, Lauren says, when chickens lay eggs, they're covered with a membrane that you cannot see. Ew. If you wash the eggs, the membrane disappears, and so does the protection. So you would have to refrigerate. If you don't wash the eggs, you can leave them on the counter 
Warmest regards, Lauren, she okay, says. Okay, but store-bought eggs are, your, you know. They're washed. Those are washed. They're washed. Yeah, yeah, because people want them to like, look shiny and nice. We want the visualization to be accurate. That's a big, big thing with many of us. You ever had someone give you eggs, like, from their farm? Yep. The chicken yeah. Cake? Uh-huh. Yeah, Full once or poop, twice. Poop all around. Are they? Yeah. Uh, yeah the membrane. Much smaller, too. Yeah, that's why you want to wash them, right? That's like, but then you could just wash them right before you eat them, I guess, and then it's still right. good. And I remember it tasting fine whenever I had eggs like that. My friend had a bunch of uh, chickens all around his house. Also, grocery stores only sell unpasteurized eggs if they are what? If they are cute, <sighs> fertilized, grade A. No, free range. Large. Um, nope. Free range. Uh, if they are chicken in, eggs. If they are in. In a container? In season? In what container? In a, in a carton. cardboard container. No. Styrofoam. Styrofoam container. Come on, just think of the egg, man. The egg. egg. A coop, a chicken coop. They're in the in shell. A, in, in the shell. Oh. oh, yeah, I mean, aren't the most of them in the shell? Okay. No, no right. if, you, if you buy a carton of, like, egg product, if you buy a carton, like, of um, mm -hmm. egg beaters or egg whites or anything else... It has to be pasteurized, so you could huh? literally open up one of those cartons and drink it. Learn yeah. something new every day. Here we go. Let's dive headfirst into it. Let's do jury duty. Court is now in session. So put your phone down and pay attention. Before we call the bailiff over to whip your ass, you're now on jury duty with the news junkie. Jury duty brought to you by the one, the only, Mo DeWitt of the DeWitt Law Firm. Injured on the go? Just call Mo. Love our friend Mo. And after an accident, he's ready to help you out. And I mean around the clock. So no matter when it is, uh, you make sure you're taking care of yourself and your family by calling 866-CALL-MO, 866-CALL-MO, or go to justcallmo.com. Now that we're right. in jury duty, I, ha I do have an update that's uh, it's important. What is it? The Port Leash Panthers said mm -hmm. they refuse. Okay, I guess it's about the sports they thing. They refuse to replay the final three-tenths of a second of their match against the Limerick Sports Eagles because it would be against the spirit of basketball. Is that true? Or are you screwing with me? No, that's 100% true. They said they refuse <laughs> to do it, despite the Ireland basketball chiefs ordering the teams to replay the fraction of the Division One game. One the the The... Distance between those two cities is at, at least an hour drive that they would have yeah. to complete just to play less than a second of a game. They said, "Stupid! This wasn't a part of this. wasn't why we appealed it, and we're not going to do it." By the way, if you missed this, th there was a flag on the field because yesterday this was in jury duty, and C. Lane said this has nothing to do with legal news, and he was right. But I still wanted to tell him the story about these basketball teams that were at odds with each other. And the uh, officials, at, after a huge investigation, said you have to go back and play the last point seven seconds of this point game, three. or point three seconds three of this game. Of a second. And now one of them is not going to be willing to do it. So there's no. our our update. We'll keep an eye on it. Okay, here we go. Let's go to the <laughs> Apple River stabbing. The Apple River stabbing is a wild story that's getting national attention, even international attention right now. If you don't know. Let me bring you on board. Sabrina and Celia, and this might help with some of the details here. This happened in Apple River, Wisconsin, or on the Apple River in Wisconsin. Um, and it was in the Hudson area. There is a guy who's now 54 years old. He was 52 when this occurred because it went down in July of 2022. That's when the, um, the initial incident occurred. And it's a man named Nikolai, Nikolai Mew, and he's on trial facing life in prison for killing a 17-year-old named Isaac Schumann and injuring four others in July of 2022. This happened on a river where they were rafting. They were all in their tubes and stuff. And Mew, the 52-year-old at the time, he said his friend had lost his cell phone and he was attempting to look for his friend's cell phone. And then all these teenagers started screwing with him. And they were calling him like a pedo and saying, oh, he's trying to find little girls underwater. And they just started bullying this guy. There's no doubt about it if you watch the video. They were ganging up on him and bullying him. But Nikolai had every chance in the world to go any other direction. Like, he, he could have walked away from these people, walked away from this group so easily. And something happens. Uh, the young group says that the 52-year-old punched a girl who was part of their group a teenage girl, and then that prompted a response from one of the teenage boys, and then the dude started stabbing them. They had no idea they were even being stabbed. There was two, three of them stabbed before they realized, oh, my God, we've been stabbed. And this guy says they were trying to beat me up. They were trying to push me underwater. I had no choice but to fight back with the knife. 
And it's a very, very tough case. Some people see it as just flat out murder. Uh, some people see it as um, the guy uh, uh, was uh, in the right to do it. Like he was just doing self defense. Yeah. And if you watch the video, it may make you think different things about it. Um, I think that it really matters what happened first. Did the girl get hit? Because if he punched the girl, if he punched the woman, he started the fight. And then he doesn't necessarily have to follow the same protocol afterwards, um, or the other people don't, if he started the fight. So here's some details it's, here. Let's see. Witnesses of the deadly Apple River stabbing will head back to the stand for questioning. As day two of the murder trial picks up, this was back on day two. Cell phone video is shedding some light on what happened. All right, here's some of the footage. This is the guy right here, Nikolai. You see him surrounded. Before and after Nikolai Muse stabbed five people, including 17 year old Isaac Schumann, who died. So let's head back out to Michelle Beck, who's live outside the courthouse right, all right now. So this is How getting coverage die? all over the place. Who, the kid? Yeah. He stabbed him right in the stomach. If you look up, I don't know if you guys want to see this for context or not, but if you look up Apple River stabbing video, it's about a minute and a half to two minutes or so, and you'll see the video. It's chaos. It goes from the teenagers going like, yeah, ah, they're, they're celebrating to all of a sudden they realize, oh, this guy is fighting back and stabbing our friends. And they start seeing blood in the water and stuff, literally. Um, and then they, they realize what's going on. And then it all stops happening just as fast as that. It's very insane. You can see it both ways depending on. Are the on other kids okay? Are they in them? critical condition? One of them had their bowels perforated, and they're okay. Yikes. That person's okay. Uh, the female who was stabbed is uh, doing okay. And then there was one person who was just, like, hit in the melee. That was um, their injury, or at least they suggest that they were uh, in that position. Uh, and there's a lot of people questioning, like, what happened here? Should this guy spend the rest of his life behind bars or what? And I want to go a little further into this, so we'll get into it in the next segment as well. So we can get into some more testimony to see if this shapes your mind in any way. Um, check it out and send us a dispatch with your thoughts. Dispatch, excuse me, with your thoughts. Go over to thenewsjunkie.com. Hit record on your first dispatch right now. Win on YouTube says, didn't they say he was stabbed in the heart? He died instantly from what they said in the courtroom. Uh, he died very fast. They noticed that he was di dead or dying at the scene. His friends did. And then they, were, they went, horrific, I'm telling you, man. when you watch the video, they're like, yeah, yeah, this guy's a creeper. Yeah. And they're all laughing and they're hounding him. And then they go, boom. And they stop and they go, he's stabbing us. And they realize because he just had this small knife in his hand. And as they thought he was fighting back, he was stabbing them in the chest. Nessa says, wait, he was just chilling with teenagers. No, he was with another group on the river and the person he was with lost their cell phone. He was trying to find the iPhone in the water, and the, the two groups crossed paths. Uh, I'll get to some more testimony on this and some more details, because uh, I did a research stream on this after the show yesterday on Twitch. But we'll talk a little bit more about that. We also got to get to the most awkward video I've seen that's going viral right this moment, and a bunch more on a busy Thursday. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. All the cool kids are doing it, and you want to be like the cool kids, don't you? Well, don't you? The Talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, shop the best quality jewelry and lowest price. GoldsmithJewelry.com. Travel with caution. Authorities are clearing up an accident on I-4 eastbound approaching Colonial Drive. There's an accident on Orange Blossom Trail northbound approaching Lee Road. And on Semarin Boulevard southbound at Wakiva Springs, there's an accident there as well. All lanes are blocked on State Road 453 northbound between State Road 429 and Sorrento Avenue. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Vaveline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Batteries Plus. Batteries Plus offers a wide array of battery and lighting solutions, along with key fob programming and expert phone repair, with locally owned stores in your neighborhood, as well as commercial accounts to power your business. Power on with Batteries Plus. Visit one of their 700 plus locations today. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. 
Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. You can tell spring is in the air thanks to that thick coat of pollen that covers everything from your car to your house. And if you suffer from allergies, this can be a tough time of the year. So breathe easy this spring with Renewal by Anderson's energy-efficient windows and doors. Improved indoor air quality is just one great benefit. Renewal by Anderson's beautiful design with a variety of color options bumps up your curb appeal too. And during their 30-day spring sale, you can save $325 on every window and $825 on all patio doors. Plus, no money down, no payments, and 0% interest for 12 months. Visit rbafla.com for details. Expires April 30th. Some restrictions apply. And if you're looking for a new career, Renewal by Anderson is now hiring experienced window and door installation subcontractors with general and trim carpentry experience. Official partner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Again, visit rbafla.com for details. License number CGC1527613. Introducing Tanside Stone Tile Flooring, a game changer in the tile industry. Say goodbye to the trade-off between durability and easy installation with Tanzite's revolutionary indoor-outdoor stone tile. Visit Tanzite.com to see how our tile is installed without concrete or mortar. Instead, our innovative rubber gasket system connects the tiles together. Each tile coming pre-assembled, you simply grab one and place it. No expertise needed. At Tanzite.com, you can see how our foam back tiles contour to cover any existing floor while insulating against sound and cold. Beautiful and versatile, Tanzite tile adapts to indoor or outdoor use. From kitchens to patios on concrete basements or wooden decks. All with the durability of stone that's guaranteed for life. Witness this innovative product yourself and order a sample today at Tanzite.com. That's T-A-N-Z-I-T-E dot com. Do you have a life insurance policy of $100,000 or more that you don't need? Well, don't lapse or surrender your policy. You might be sitting on a gold mine. That's right. You may be able to sell all or part of your life insurance policy to Coventry for cash or a combination of cash and coverage with no future premiums, even a term policy. Call Coventry Direct at 800-411-8300 or visit CoventryDirect.com to find out if you're sitting on a gold mine. That's 800-411-8300. For over 25 years, we've helped thousands of people sell their policies. And we can probably help you, too. Call us today at 800-411-8300 or visit CoventryDirect.com to find out if you're sitting on a gold mine. That's 800-411-8300. Call now. Hi, this is Earl Ron, president of New South Window. New South is having a one-day factory sale this Saturday only in our factory showroom. 40% off energy-efficient windows and patio doors. One day only this Saturday from 9 till 4. Please visit us at NewSouthWindow.com. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Easy Cater, 100,000 restaurants, one platform. Need food for a meeting or a company event? Easy Cater has everything you need to make food for work, work. With easy online ordering and reordering. Save your favorite orders, make edits as needed, and click. We even help you with expenses by keeping your receipts all in one place, which means all you need to do is sit back and enjoy the food. From ordering to reporting, Easy Cater has everything to make food for work, work. Order 24-7 at easycater.com. 
If spring allergies keep you trapped inside, then you need Navage Nasal Care to keep you breathing clearly and enjoying all the beauties of spring. Navage helps clear nasal passages that are often clogged because of seasonal allergies. Navage gently flushes a pure, refreshing saline solution through your nasal passages to clear out congestion, sucking out that springtime pollen and other irritants trapped in your nose. Navage is available online at navage.com or in stores at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, and Target. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Look to Orange Buick GMC for your next truck at orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you deserve better. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Hear it here first, then everyone else will catch up in a week or two or four of your list. video i'll tell you which one in a second acted poorly that entire thing could have been prevented and i agree wholeheartedly with you alicia when it comes to the apple river stabbing trial the video shows that everybody did everything wrong that you possibly could wasn't that the same case in that uh i don't know if it was early this year or sometime last year the marina the attack or fight thing that happened remember that what about that? Yeah, I know what you're talking about, where the um, the guy, like, was battling by a boat and somebody jumped into the water and There's stuff. There's a bunch of different angles of it, and just it looked like everybody was the asshole. Yeah. I'm watching not, it now, man. This I, is insane. I, well, I think in the Marina one you're talking about, it was a little more clear that the, the drunk group that wanted to try, try to go in on the boat was in the wrong there. But in this case, let me give you the who, what, when, where, and why on the Apple River stabbing trial, because a lot of you are coming in from nothing. And Sabrina saw the video, so we'll kind of get... A take on that in a moment. It's it's tough. Um, the who is you have a guy named Nikolai Mew. At the time, he was 52 years old. Uh, this is that was two years ago. So there's your when. By the way, it was in 2022 when this occurred in Apple River, Wisconsin, or on the Apple River in Wisconsin at the very least. What happened was there was an altercation between. Nicholas Mew, who had a group with him, but he was away from his group. He was um, isolated by himself. And there was a group of hovering around a dozen-ish teenagers. Um, there were 17, 18, 19, right, right around there. And they were also in this river, and he went over to them, and an altercation started. They started to bully him and say some really bad things about him and accuse him of, like, trying to be a creeper for little girls. They totally made all this nonsense up. And then he kept facing it on instead of trying to escape. Now, is he legally required to escape? No, I don't think so. But should he have tried to escape? Yes, I do think so. I think he could have avoided uh, all that followed if he, if he got out of there. But that's not what they're trying to decide in court, mind you, right? That's just my, uh, my take on sometimes you should just try to get the hell out of there if you can. Because there's 12 people surrounding him and stuff. Or not surrounding him. They're actually only all on one side. He had, he had an uh, avenue out of there. So the what is this altercation between the two of them? And the why is uh, about a couple of things. One was Nicholas Mew, the 52-year-old, said that he was searching for his friend's cell phone. Uh, his friend said, I told him, forget about it. It's not a big deal. But he just kept searching because he had a mask and a snorkel. And he was out there. And in the very beginning of the altercation, if you watch the video, it's on YouTube. It's, it's gory, though. I warn you before you see it. Um, you can see that Nicholas Mew is constantly fidgeting with his pocket. That's the pocket where this knife is. And he pulls out the knife at one point. And as they're, like, hitting him and attacking him, he's stabbing them. Like, he's, like, stabbing them straight up in the gut and stuff. And they don't even realize that they're being stabbed for an awkward amount of time. And mm -hmm. then one of them is like, He's dying, and they see that their friend who has been stabbed is in the water, and blood, there's so much blood in the there's water so that you can see it. Man. Like, I know that sounds like I'm exaggerating, but you uh, you agree, right? So, you can see the blood in the water, um, even though this is a damn river. 
And so they realize, oh, my God, this guy's stabbing people. And just as soon as that, it stops. And I got chaos from it. It's really hard to see if he does punch the girl that the the teen said started it or if that wasn't true. I'll tell you, I am uh, I have a bad taste in my mouth for this Nikolai Mew guy because when the police brought him in, he told an entirely different story. He didn't know that the teenagers had filmed him, and he said that the teenagers had pulled out knives on him and that he had wrestled away one of the knives from the teenagers, and that's what he had stabbed them with in self-defense. So to me, that's that's an obvious lie that he's telling, right? And why is he telling that lie? That's a, another question. Uh, so let's go to this report here that had some of the details and then some of the crazy-ass testimony that went down today. The Apple River stabbing, if you're not familiar, is what we're talking about here. Let's see. Yeah, Jason Alicia, we are expecting the courthouse to again wrestle with that crucial piece of evidence. The video. That video after it was unsealed yesterday. Since the alleged crime two years ago, court right, documents had only given us a hint of what a witness video captured. Then yesterday, the jury and the public saw for the first time what happened on the Apple River, the scene that led Nikolai Mew to face charges. So they're around him. They're all taunting him. They're saying some terrible stuff about him. But he could get out of there if need be. And mm -hmm. we, we don't need to escalate this further. They were drinking, according to the toxicology report, the one who was stabbed and killed had a 0.21 uh, blood alcohol level, I think. He was uh, going at it then. Yeah, he was. They were drinking quite a bit, and he shouldn't have been drinking. But that not that shouldn't necessarily factor in too much. It's about who did what, who was within their rights to defend themselves. A first degree murder and four counts of attempted murder. Prosecutors called life. the violence senseless. That Mew could have walked away. Mew's attorney saying a group of drunk teenagers was harassing him until some young adults joined and attacked him. You're going to see the video. You're going to see the sequence of events. You're going to hear a lot in the video. You're going to hear people yelling at Nikolai over 20 times, some version of He's stabbing him. They away, have no idea he's stabbing him right now. attack him from the front, smack him across the front of the face, while somebody else comes from behind and starts pushing him down. In that moment, he feared for his life. All right, there you go. And the update today was one of the kids who was stabbed, I say kids, his name's A.J. Martin. I never know what to call people in this age. Teenagers, now they're older than it, so it changes what you're seeing on the stand. Um, they're Victim? trying to do a lot of that. Well, it, it, that really still depends. Uh, yeah, but, uh, okay, you would still be a stab... I don't know how you phrase that. Would you still be considered the stabbing... They wouldn't call you a stabbing victim in court if, uh, the, if you were in this position. The, the prosecutor wouldn't. would. The prosecutor might not be able to. Oh, because calling you, and I, it, it probably is trial by trial, but calling you a victim implies that you are on the correct side of things and that the other person wasn't within their rights to do what they did to you, gotcha. right? That's why this gets a little bit dicey. But this guy, A.J. Martin, was one of the ones who got stabbed. Watch the uh, audio of this, because I don't know if he curses. There's a lot of cursing in this case. Just heads up. But I wanted you guys to see what happened uh, on the stand there today, right? <laughs> He's like, he's shaking. I guess they just watched the video. You crying? Grab it a, a Kleenex tissue. They want to give out the name brand. But you did. So wait here. You see what happens in just a moment or two. And I want to ask you a question quick before I... This, this exhibit... Um, 29. If you know, I don't want you to speculate, but do you know if that's, and again, don't answer. If you, if you don't know, that's fine to say you don't know. Is that from the slice or was it, did you have further incisions from surgery? No, that's all from the slice. There's, um, it actually goes from like you can't see it super well in the picture but it goes above my rib cage too. so he he takes his shirt off here in a second and he shows the stabbing wound in the <sighs> court and shows they, it to them. they didn't have to open me up i was already open do you know can you show with your hands about how long the laceration was i'm gonna fast forward just a little bit yeah you sure yeah all right here okay. he's gonna show them in the courtroom for those of you watching 
Everybody else, I'm not putting this on see it now because some of it's more graphic and I'm worried about showing like the actual stabbing parts on the stream. But you can just Google Apple River stabbing video and you'll see that the key piece of evidence, the video. Actually, make it faster. I just don't tuck it. That's so he's pulling up his shirt now. This is awkward to have to do on the stand. Oh, look at that. My Jeez. God. Um, uh, that's Jesus. something. So for everybody else, it goes that looks from like a self defense is this, wound to you. <laughs> well, just because it's a bad wound does not mean that it that implies anything else, right? That's what the problem is with a case like this. You can just look at it and go, it looks bad. That doesn't mean anything. It, it's about what happened prior to it and who was actually within their rights of defending themselves. Is this a cut here? Is this like hair or what what am I looking at? Is You're that is that, at, that looks like that a cut. cut too? Okay. No, that's so, hair. This is that's a happy this trail. is the cut right here. Yeah, this from here? like okay. where his belly button to all right mid so, rib cage. What do we say it goes like four inches or so over from his belly button. That's it. And then like six. It's it goes a ways over, that's and then sick. it goes all the way up toward uh, his chest. It's a huge oh. slice in this guy's body, like not a small one, not just a bloop. You know, he didn't poke the knife into him and then pull it out. No, 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 no. no. This must have been a put in and then either the guy's body was moving or he physically moved the knife up his body. So that's A.J. Martin, who is testifying in, in the courtroom in this trial today. And if the jury thinks that this Nikolai guy, the 54 year old now, if they think that he wasn't in his right to defend himself, he could get life behind bars. If they think that he was overwhelmed and mobbed by these drunken teenagers, because they keep saying drunken teenagers over and over and over and over again in the courtroom to try to get that across, the um, defense does. Uh, if they think that he was within his rights, then nothing will happen to him because he was able to defend himself, whether he stabbed them and that looks bad or, or whatever. So it's a tough one. And the video is really tough to watch. But the most important part of the video to me is who started the the altercation in a physical way it's hard for to tell the apple river salmon i just you tried to watch a little bit of it it's 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 all over the place it feels like like when the two girls go up in front of him they say that he punched them and then that's why the guys responded right because he had opened up a fight at that point in time if he punched those girls he started that fight you cannot start a fight get hit back and then feel like you have to stab yourself unless there's some really wild circumstances that follow right you have to open yourself back up into self-defense after being the instigator so if he did that to me if i was a juror i would say he was guilty but i don't see that he did that and a lot of other people are saying that maybe he didn't maybe he just brushed up against her maybe she pushed against him it's a tough one and that's why there's so many eyeballs on this apple river stabbing case we'll keep an eye on it as it goes on let us know what you think go to the news send us a dispatch right now but be careful watching that video because it's uh yeah it's just like it's tough sucks man sucks it, it, the other thing that gets at me behind beyond the guy nikolai these are the strikes against him for me beyond him just lying because he did lie he lied to the police he didn't think that they had the video and he was like oh they pulled out knives and i grabbed one of their knives and he did like maybe possibly ditch his knife or dropped it um beyond that he was clearly trying to get his knife in his hand or make sure he had it very close for a while and i don't like all right, this doesn't mean the person is guilty or not, but I don't like when a person has huge opportunities to defuse the heat, to, to, to get away from any potential danger that they might be facing, and they don't take them. And I wonder, like, why? Your group of people is back there. Why wouldn't you say, these guys are being assholes. Let me go back there and maybe rethink it once you went over it. Like, all of the things that you could have done. And his attorneys are also like, his first language is in English because he's from like uh, um, Eastern Europe. You know, he was born in Eastern Europe and they moved here when he was younger. And so they're trying to say, oh, it was like an immigrant that they were stabbing and he didn't understand the things that were going on verbally or socially. Uh, that okay. seems like nonsense, too, because like he's been in the country most of his life. It, nothing seemed that hard to understand. I'm pretty sure you can't stab people in Eastern Europe, too. Uh, it, it's it's just a really on the edge case and that's why it's uh, it's gotten so many people to pay attention to it uh we'll take your thoughts on it of course when it comes to a verdict which i have no idea how long this is going to go on for 
We'll take that and we'll keep you updated on the story because it's certainly an interesting one. Let us know what you think. Go over to thenewsjunkie.com. That's the news junkie with an IE.com, the news junkie.com, and hit record on your first dispatch right now. When we return, we'll hear from some of those. We'll also hear from a patient that just left the hospital after something happened to them. And it's got to be a weird time at home when this occurs. What's going on? You're going to find out. That's coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is on threads at Real Radio 1041, sponsored by the law offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. There's a couple accidents to watch out for on I-4 this afternoon. Westbound between Saxon Boulevard and Dirksen Drive. The right lane is blocked. I-4 eastbound at Colonial Drive. The right lane is blocked. Traffic is backed up from Michigan Street. Expect delays on State Road 429 due to an accident southbound between Ocoee Popka Road and West Road. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Indeed.com. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Their all-in-one platform helps you attract, interview, and hire candidates all from one place. And Indeed's interview tool lets you schedule and conduct virtual interviews right from their website. Visit Indeed.com slash credit. Spectrum One is a big deal. You get Spectrum Internet with the most reliable internet speeds, free advanced Wi-Fi for enhanced security and privacy, and a free Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line with nationwide 5G included, all while saving big. For the big speed, big reliability, and big savings you want, get Spectrum one. Just $49.99 a month for 12 months. Visit spectrum.com slash big deal for full details. Offer subject to change. Valid for qualified residential customers only. Service not available in all areas. Restrictions apply. Turn up the cleanliness at your restaurant, healthcare, or industrial business with Alsco Uniforms, the official sponsor of the Orlando Magic Mop Crew. We've got you covered with crisp uniforms, hygienically clean linens, floor mats, and of course mops delivered weekly. But that's not all. Alsco Uniforms also offers weekly services for first aid and restroom supplies. Discover why it pays to keep clean with Alsco uniforms. Visit Alsco.com to learn more. Again, that's A-L-S-C-O dot com. Discover a career that matters at the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs. Be part of an innovative team delivering world-class health care and benefits to America's veterans. Enjoy robust benefits, work-life balance, and career development opportunities. Join a diverse and inclusive community that values your unique background and skills. A community where nearly one in three of your colleagues are veterans themselves. Apply now at vacareers.va.gov. Join Jim Colbert on the Jim Colbert Show for his Cigar of the Week segment every Friday afternoon at 345. You can pick up these featured cigars at all three Corona Cigar Company locations, Dr. Phillips, Heathrow, and downtown. Learn more at coronacigar.com. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. If spring allergies keep you trapped inside, then you need Navage Nasal Care to keep you breathing clearly and enjoying all the beauties of spring. Navage helps clear nasal passages that are often clogged because of seasonal allergies. Navage gently flushes a pure, refreshing saline solution through your nasal passages to clear out congestion, sucking out that springtime pollen and other irritants trapped in your nose. Navage is available online at navage.com or in stores at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, and Target. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. 
Easy Cater, 100,000 restaurants, one platform. Need food for a meeting or a company event? Easy Cater has everything you need to make food for work, work. With easy online ordering and reordering. Save your favorite orders, make edits as needed, and click. We even help you with expenses by keeping your receipts all in one place, which means all you need to do is sit back and enjoy the food. From ordering to reporting, Easy Cater has everything to make food for work, work. Order 24-7 at easycater.com. Homeowners, are you ready to love your home again? Install Brick Paver can build eye-catching walkways, patios, or driveways. They can build custom fire pits for relaxing with your family. They even build outdoor kitchens and build retaining walls. Everything you need to create a perfect outdoor paradise. Install Brick Paver can do it with spectacular results. Go to InstallBrickPaver.com to see our amazing home makeovers. You can also get a free no-obligation quote for your outdoor project. Call for free information now. 407-337-4040. Call 407 407- 337 4040. Install Brick Paver is a family owned and operated company with over 20 years experience and fantastic Google reviews. We are Orlando's finest family owned paving experts. Fire pits, pool decks, paver driveways, patios, and hardscaping. Install Brick Paver does it all. Call for your free estimate now. Get in early before our spring schedule gets booked. Call 407 337 4040. That's 407 337 4040. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Lost 80s, playing those songs you forgot you knew from the 80s. Get back in time. Good. Duran Duran, Huey Lewis, Tina Turner, and more, all commercial-free. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Lost 80s, and listen now. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. New South Windows Solutions. We manufacture, we install, we guarantee. Visit NewSouthWindow.com. Radio. Radio. High diving face first into the world's most viral newsroom. This is. The latest Secret Show subscriber. Learn more about the uncensored the Secret Shows, including one that's going to be recorded tonight and released tomorrow. You can get in on the action over at thenewsjunkie.com. We'll get into a transplant patient that is in the news in just a moment in this crazy BBC article. But a lot of people are responding to the uh, Red Apple River story, Red the uh, the. Apple River stabbing, rather. I put the red in there myself. The Apple River stabbing. Yeah, the red I, came from all that blood in the water. True, it did. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, I was banned for a joke on Twitch. says, the video shows them attacking him on the ground, and then he gets back to his feet surrounded. I'm curious if there is evidence for a mob mentality that he could use in his defense. I think this comes down to this stabbing where this 52-year-old at the time was surrounded by these teenagers that he says was drunk, and at least some of them were, were drunk indeed on the, the day. Um, I think it comes down to uh, two different ways of looking at it. One is, is the person morally in the wrong? And I think he, he really should have left. I think that he came over and touched their rafts first. They're like tubes. You can see he put his hand on it. And I think he'll say he was like looking for the phone or something, but it just made for a weird encounter. And there's a bunch of them and like, why, why, why inflame that? And then he had all these opportunities to get away from what was happening there. And I think that morally he should have gotten away from that. I think that I would have probably tried to, or hope I would have tried to in that scenario to get away. And I think he might've been going, Oh yeah, they want to get me. They want to surround me. I, I got a knife right here. I got, he was like kind of waiting for the moment that he could do that. Hmm. But the question in the courtroom isn't who was morally right or wrong. It's who was legally right or wrong. And if he can say that all these kids were attacking him, because make no mistake about it, the kids were assholes. They were like really, really bad behavior, but yeah, I don't want people dying over just bad behavior. Um, and they're going to say Not yet anyway, well, they're going to say tale. they're going to say legally he was within his rights to defend himself, and that includes stabbing these people that he thought were going to uh, injure him or kill him. I mean, but, you have but you have that video, which is very hard to tell. 
It moves but so then, fast. It's like it, it's not you, you're not looking at anything for more than a second or two. But then you're going to they have a bunch of witnesses, including mm-hmm. that group of quote unquote teenagers. Yeah. And that man's group. Anyone else who's on the river. And if he says he didn't punch anybody, but 15 other people said they saw him punch somebody. Yeah. And how is that going to well, play out? A couple of things. One, his group was upriver and they were a ways away. So they couldn't see what was going on the group of the teenagers they also got caught in some lies after the event so they were saying things that they knew didn't line up with the truth um and some of them including the girl who was on the stand i think earlier today i think i saw her in this this morning while i was taking my shower she was on the stand she is the one that was alleged to have been hit and she said that he didn't hit her that like he may have brushed against her but that he did not punch her and so that like the the one group is all lining together quite obviously because they're all together. The other group is the guy by himself in the camera footage. And then his group of people who are with him, they can only testify to what happened after the stabbing. And most of them did not know what was going on. They were very, very uh, in the dark as to what was happening after this. And only one of his group went over and tried to render some aid to these kids that had been stabbed before the police arrived. So, it's just, it sucks. I wish he would have gone away. I wish he would have not been there. I wish he would not have uh, instigated. I wish he would have seen that these kids were uh, ready to get into a fight with him and he should not have taken any further, but that's not what happened. And then you have to look at it from the juror's perspective. But from the juror's perspective, you might say on um, on the side of the, the teenagers that there's a lot of emotional stuff because there is, you just said you were watching some more of the testimony from the uh, kid who got stabbed and oh, showed yeah. his like TikTok stab is wound. listening to me. As soon as I opened up the app. It was oh, really? The rest of the testimony. Wow. Right afterwards. And what did you see when he was talking about it? He's just doing the, you know, what happened, what happened after that. And then he made this, I mean, it's just chilling. It was like, um, he had, I don't know if you would call it a stabbing, but he mm-hmm. got me with a knife and then my intestines were in my hands. Oh God, he, hell, Jesus, man. man! It's and and the the craziest thing is the defense is also using a lot of very emotionally charged things. The defense of this fifty two year old guy is like these teenagers gaslighted my client. They gaslighted the defendant into thinking that gaslighted he gaslighted how they, because they said that they all told him um, first that he was being a creeper looking for like little naked girls or something. And second, that he had thrown the first punch against the girl that they were with. And they kept saying they, he, they gaslight him, they gaslit him, they gaslit him. And then they're using like super emotionally charged language themselves. So everybody's trying to make this about emotions. And the, the jury is supposed to only, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Only make this about the law. It, does that ever happen in a courtroom? I think it's impossible to have no emotions involved in an entire jury looking at this but you can see they, why it's gonna be and weird they went with first degree yeah i think so i believe so because they they showed the video of him like he he's touching his pocket he knows the knife's in his pocket he keeps realizing okay knife knife yeah. knife and then now he's taking out the knife so they said he knew exactly what he was doing and that he uh and that goes back engaged. to what you were saying the amount of time that he had to disengage rather than just stay there and let mm-hmm. it come to uh, you know, come to a boiling point where now he's like, all right, time to get stabby. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's, that's where I land. Like, I don't know about UC land, but I would have walked away. Like even in my, I would have had a knife. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. Uh, yeah. I have, f- I have knives. I, uh, usually do not carry them. I'm not a stabber myself either, but even in my, uh, interaction with the SWAT assholes, where I was, uh, as I believe, completely wronged by them, and I believe they're a bunch of terrible human beings that um, got less of a punishment than they should have, though they may disagree. I was trying to get out of the awkwardness. I was like, I'm finishing up. I'm going to try to get out of here. I I was doing everything I could to get out, and I did get away uh, from the scene before things got even worse than they did. I'm not saying that that makes you, uh, like, it doesn't make you a pussy, I don't think. I think that makes you somebody who's, like, being more aware of your circumstances and what's worth it in the moment and coming back at things in other ways. But this guy didn't do that. And so the the jury has to decide from what they have. Meanwhile, from the BBC, 
the first man to receive a genetically modified kidney transplant from a pig has been discharged from the hospital, they say. The 62-year-old was sent home Wednesday, two weeks after the groundbreaking surgery at Massachusetts General Hospital. They say organ transplants from genetically modified pigs have failed in the past, but the success of this procedure so far has been hailed by scientists as a historic milestone in the field of transplantation. What will happen next for this guy? Uh, It's Richard Rick Slayman of Massachusetts had been battling end-stage kidney disease. He needed a transplant. He got the one from the pig, and right now he's no longer on dialysis, and we'll see. He may survive. Who knows? But I can't believe that's the first one. They've that, been using the, pig heart valves for many mm-hmm. years, and that has proven to be successful. That's not, it's not the first pig heart either, though. It's the first pig kidney, genetically modified. Uh, yeah, I meant kidney. Uh, it's the first genetically modified pig kidney that was used for the transplant. Because we and, know the guy with the pig heart that did not last. Yeah, there was somebody who had a hold on. Where the guy is written about in here, I think. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, well, they, he was on been, death row though, or something, right? Wasn't yeah, he, yeah, he yeah. Was some sort of prisoner. And there was a reason why they wouldn't give him like a real one. <laughs> I hate to say that, but like a, a human organ, they were going to give him the pig organ instead. All right, let's go. Uh, if you go. haven't paid your debt to society, maybe <laughs> being on the transplant list. <laughs> Is one of those things that they should reserve for people who are not incarcerated. And yeah. maybe you, if you say, hey, uh, test one of those pig hearts out on me, uh-huh. we'll, we'll knock a couple uh, couple months off. Do you guys know that there's prisoners in New York City who are currently suing the state of New York because they want yes. a better view of, yes. the, yeah. uh, of the eclipse? <laughs> and they're like, oh, I don't know. Is this going to work out they for them? They deserve to see it, too. Actually, yeah, I, they, they want a real it. good shot. I think it would be ironic if all they can see is the eclipse. It's like uh, if they're so uh, heavily incarcerated, they're like, you lock them up and never show them the light of day mm-hmm. until... There is no light of day for four minutes. Yeah. Mm. And, and there you go. There's a loophole in the whole system. It sounded better oh. when I said it in my head. <laughs> All right. Let's go to a couple of dispatches real quick and just get a get a vibe for what's happening out there. Like Smackerel, who's talking about the Apple River flight or flea situation. Hey, what's up, junkies? Hey. That's crazy about the Apple River stabbing, man. It's wild. So. Sean, what you're saying is if, you know, you were in a place and, like that and everybody was drinking and drunk and confronting you, you would leave. Mm-hmm. All right. I believe you. Oh, wait a second. What happened I, I beat you, you to the happened? punch. Uh-oh. Ah. Uh, Back. I disarmed you. I beat you to the punch. I figured that might be coming down the pipeline. Pulled a, no, a bee rabbit on him. There's zero hypocrisy in my stance on that. I think that, like, so let's say, um, I'll give you another example, and I think maybe people will connect with this. If Courtney and I are at a a sidewalk or on a street corner and a crazed individual comes up to us, says very, very choice things about Courtney and, you know, this about her, that about her. And, and he's starting to threaten her. I'm going to stab her or whatever. Now in that moment, the thing that I would do would be to get away, to get her safely away from this lunatic and not engage with them. It wouldn't be like, what'd you say to my girl? And try to like fight the guy with the knife, or you know, kill him, or what? Like, I wouldn't be thinking about that in the moment because I would be thinking about first, like, what's the smartest move, right? It's not like, do you think it's like cucked to be smart? <laughs> like, is it is it a cucked move to be like, yeah, I could get away safely, I could make sure I live to see another day, but what a badass move it'll be to get this guy to stab me in the face a couple of times. That's, that doesn't make any sense. That's not realistic. You're supposed to be smarter than other people. You're supposed to make the right move, I would think. Here's D. Browning with a dispatch. Hey, junkies, I just watched that video, and in my opinion, every single one of them people should be in jail. All of them? Oh, he stopped. Oh. Are you back? Hello? I don't know if the guy yeah. actually did anything wrong, because it looked to me like they hit him first. And pushed him down and started hitting him. Well, that's the big question, isn't it? That's it. Like, we we, we have this crappy video. Ah, I wish there was, like, because there's no security video. You know, they're in the middle of a river. They're out there doing their thing. 
Somebody said we have a place like this uh, near near where we oh, broadcast yeah. yeah, from in Orlando. It's actually it's called uh, Wakiva Island. No, that's not it. <laughs> Despite no. what the stupid tra- traffic guy has been saying, Rainbow River many have been many 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 a times. Uh, Peter Zero says stabs there. Is this Rainbow River? Peter says hi, junkies. I heard you talking about natural lazy river in another state. We have something called Itcha Itchy Walkie Itcha Itcha Tuckney. Itcha I I see each T. I C E A I C H E T U C K N E E. Also, uh, it's a tuck knee. Jenny Springs, I thought, had a bit of a lazy river thing, too. Yeah, those are cool. I mean, it's a beautiful spot. Like, I, I cold, totally dig that. Man. Uh, Very is the water cold. too cold. Uh, no, I mean, you, can, you can get used to it, but mm-hmm. initial dive in, and it's not like you can dip your toes. Like, there's a bit of a current. I so hate that. It is yeah. like 30. 40 degrees. I hate that. I didn't realize that before getting a pool. I thought, well, most days it's hot. You just jump in the pool. Even in the heat of the summer, it's still freezing cold. It's like, what the hell's going on here? I got to heat this thing year round. I don't want to do that. First world problems. I don't go in the pool enough to justify it, but I'm going to go this summer a hell of a lot more. All right. Maybe maybe even this spring. Who knows? Pool show. Pool summer. That's right. That's right. It's happening. I'll be ripping my shirt off. Summer show. The guns will be blazing. It'll be something to behold. Uh, when we come back, final dispatches. Stories that didn't make the cut. And today I learned to wrap everything up for a Thursday. That's coming up next on the News Junkie. Real radio is Real Music Weekends. Real Music Weekends. This weekend on Real Radio 104.1. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Here's your midday weather forecast update from Fox 35. I'm Storm Team Meteorologist Brooks Garner, and we've got beautiful sunshine from here through the middle of next week. Much cooler today, highs only reaching the mid-70s. That's about 5 or 6 degrees cooler than normal, but still very beautiful weather. Our next rain chance holds off until the end of next week. Until then, a slow warming trend. Mid-80s by this time next week make a big return. For the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Brooks Garner. This report is sponsored by Batteries Plus. Batteries Plus offers a wide array of battery and lighting solutions, along with key fob programming and expert phone repair, with locally owned stores in your neighborhood as well as commercial accounts to power your business. Power on with Batteries Plus. Visit one of their 700-plus locations today. Listen up, my business-owning friends. Do you have a high-interest rate SBA loan? at perhaps 9, 10, maybe 11%. If you qualify and have paid on time for the past two years, that mortgage guy, Don, can refinance your SBA loan at an 8.25% fixed rate. Need a loan to buy a franchise? That mortgageguydon.com is the place to start. Want to build or expand your business? That mortgage guy, Don, can help with commercial loans too. That mortgageguydon.com is the place to go for all your business and residential loans. Peace of mind at your fingertips. Don't miss the boat. Compare your quote today by going to thatmortgageguydon.com. Don't miss the boat. Compare your quote with thatmortgageguydon.com. Elevate your outdoor living space this year using stone. Tanzite has developed stone decking crafted without any plastic composite materials to redefine durability. Visit tanzite.com to see how stone decking doesn't scratch stays cooler, isn't slippery, and has all the durability you would expect from stone, which is why it's guaranteed for life. At Tanzite.com, you will see how we developed stone to easily transform any ordinary wood deck. You can even make your deck waterproof for a dry space below. Versatile and adaptable, Tanzite is perfect for decks, stairs, over concrete, or ground applications. Visit Tanzite.com to start planning your project with a free 3D design and construction plan tailored to your space. Order a sample today to witness the incredible beauty and durability firsthand at Tanzite.com. That's T-A-N-Z-I-T-E.com. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle, unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. 
and the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. In the 90s, New York detective Louis Scarcella locked up the worst criminals. Putting bad guys away. There's no feeling like it. Then jailhouse lawyers took aim, led by Derek Hamilton. Scarcella took me to the precinct and lied. 20 men eventually walked free. Now, in the Burden podcast, after a decade of silence, Louis Scarcella finally tells his story. And so does Derek Hamilton. Listen to the Burden on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. You got a service dog? Actually, he's a deals dog. Since I'm looking for a new car, I trained him to sniff out awesome rates, member discounts, and fast decisions. Cool, huh? But you know a Navy Federal Credit Union has all those things, right? You're right. He's got the scent. Oh, wait. Nope. That's just the bacon in my pocket. Apply for a Navy Federal Credit Union auto loan online, at a branch, or on our mobile app. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Message and data rates may apply. Visit NavyFederal.org for more information. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. Yo, it's Angel from the Monsters. You want a big green egg? For the lowest prices anywhere, you got to go to my friends, Wasi's Meat Market. They will deliver and set up your big green egg so that you are cooking before they leave. Follow Wasi's Meat Market on Instagram or go to wasi'smeatmarket.com for your big green egg today. When you call me for an injury case, you don't pay a dime unless we win. The call and the advice are always free. Injured on the go, just call Mo. 866 call mo mo to win orlando's injury attorneys the number one cause of accidents is distracted driving like cell phones eating and playing with the radio so leave it right here on real radio injured on the go just call mo.com mo to win orlando's injury attorney the free iheart radio app has over 100 commercial free stations waiting for you right now like lost 80s <laughs> Just search Lost 80s and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. Why are people saying Hugh yeah to Jackson Hewitt? When you switch to Jackson Hewitt, they will beat what you paid last year on tax prep. Even if you filed online. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at JacksonHewitt.com. High diving face first into the world's most viral newsroom. The cut, and today we're going to wrap everything up for a Thursday as we head into Friday and the weekend. And thank you for hanging out with us today. As always, we appreciate you. And we appreciate the folks who crawl out of the woods to record a dispatch. I know it takes a little bit of bravery. I know it seems like, you know, you put yourself on display to be judged by the three of us. And that's kind of true. But uh, we try to be gentle with you. And I love to see new names. So be amongst those folks. Also, I've got the developers working on the final update for the dispatch page. And there's going to be some work on the, the dispatch recorder on the newsjunkie.com. I'm going to need some amazing, amazing junkies out there 
to help out with a widespread test where you do a recorded dispatch and you tell me like what kind of phone you have and et cetera, et cetera. So I can send it along to the developer team so they can make that as bulletproof and perfect as possible. So we can have real high quality audio for your dispatches that are recorded on the, the website. All right. Not yet. Don't need to do it yet. Stand back and stand by, stand down and stand by. You're just at some point I could use your help to, uh, to, to fix this for us. What okay. was stand down and stand by from Trump? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Well, they, were, they were like, what do you think about the Proud Boys? And he was like, uh, just stand, stand down and stand by. And like, stand what? by? <laughs> stand by for what? What are we talking about, dude? <laughs> Here's Ryan. He has a dispatch for us. It says Sabrina's error. I, I do not know what he's talking about, what he's referring to, but here goes Ryan. Sabrina, spring water is not 30 degrees for crying out loud. It's like 70-something, and it's a constant 70-something all year long. Is it? <laughs> Wait, no, no. Is it is it spring water noted for being like colder water? Isn't that a thing? Rainbow River temperature. Yeah, see what they yeah. come up with there. Because I, I I know it as being cold. Like always, you go ooh. I mean, all it water says is cold. Twenty three degrees. That can't be right. No, he's right. Seventy two. <laughs> Seventy two degrees. Well, it's year, really not, cold, man. Not year round. What, what is it right now? Um, is that what? what what's it bringing up? It's telling you a temperature when, like in the summer. I know it's just the first thing that because uh, seventy-two degrees makes sense for the summer for like the heat of the summer maybe no but it because it's constantly running it's like it's always it stays that, at that it's always very cold but once you uh, get used to it it's beautiful mm-hmm. yeah it, so it's like a, it felt to the skin much much like when they have the temperature like feels like yeah so it's actually seventy-three but it felt like forty is it I don't know if I've ever heard this question answered before. Is it as difficult for a woman to get into very, very cold water as it is for men, or is it like the same experience? Because of our genitals. Yes. Because yeah. um, for guys, say... it's like there's like there's obvious points where it's like, oh my god, are you and worried like, about vagina shrinkage, Sean? I'm just wondering if the experience is the same. Like, are obviously, saying, for, wait, are you worried about like your junk shrinking, or your junk no. feels a sensation upon? I'm not. I'm cold not worried water. about. I'm not worried about anything. I'm saying when you get like when I get into water or when a guy gets into water, it he's like, whoa. Like and you it, can feel it in your general. That's what I'm asking. Yeah. Yeah. Like it makes it colder somehow. No, I and, don't. I don't feel it in my lady parts. OK. I don't know if that needed to be so specific. <laughs> got to the answer. I mean, you say men and women. What other difference would it be? I'm not in putting it boobs? on you. I'm not, I'm not putting it on you as being the wrong one of the specific part. It's uh, it's my fault for setting it up the way I did. Um, let's do one more real quick. All right. Here's let's see. Should we hear from Gator Coach? I don't even know what it's about. I just got a dash or concrete Mike who says Beavis and Butthead dispatch in his description. Definitely the first one. All right, Gator Coach with a dash. We don't even know what this is going to be about. Here we go. Hello? Hey, news junkies. Oh, my God. This is in reference to your Android. chicken question. Yeah, see, this is the exact example of what Concrete I Mike mean, it yeah. is. Bring on the beavis <laughs> and butthead. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this dispatch sucks, beavis. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this match just suck, <laughs> but the new chunky rolls. <laughs> that... rolls but it... <laughs> oh my god, that hurt my genitals. Oh. Well, his beavis was better than his butthead. <laughs> so he's got that. The case. <laughs> All right, let's do the stories that didn't make the cut. Um, un- unexplained bacon is jumping in on the whole spring water temperature. Do we want to go further into that or no? I think <laughs> we've done enough. Rock band Kiss sells the rights for three hundred million dollars to a firm behind the ABBA hologram show. Ooh. The rights to their music, their name, their image, and their likeness was sold to Pop House to do something and. That will feature avatars of the band. Good luck to them. Uh, Goalie that was drafted in the NHL in 2015 just made his NHL debut. That's tough. He was originally drafted in 2015, and it took till 2024 till he made his debut game in the league. Bro, I could assassinate you is the quote from a Florida man who shot his roommate during what they called vigilante or vigilance drills at the house. 
They're not facing charges, but the cops told them to please stop doing it. What were they doing? They would try to keep each other on edge. Say it was me and Sabrina. Mm. We both had guns, and they would randomly pull the guns on each other and pull the trigger because there would be no bullet in it to keep the other one on edge so you, you were vi- you know, vigilant and ready for any kind of attacker. One did that and shot the other in the mouth, and uh, the cops had to show up at their house. Probably should have been some charges. You know, I would have been okay with some charges against them, considering the circumstances. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Here we go. Uh, Let's do Today I Learned. The following information may make you feel smarter, but will not actually increase your IQ. So don't get cocky. Now it's time for what we call Today I Learned. It is today I learned for a Thursday, April 4th, 2024. We're one month away from May the 4th be with you for you Mm. Star Wars nerds. There it is right on the horizon. Here we go. Today I learned this guy right here. The Rock Rock is correct. The Wayne, The Rock Johnson. When he was 15 years old, his family was going through a rough patch. After losing their apartment, his mother, Ada Johnson, stopped their car on a Nashville highway and tried to walk directly into oncoming traffic. The Rock grabbed her and pulled her back into the vehicle, saving her life. And it was a turning point for the family moving forward, which I'm glad it didn't go the other way. But, uh, you know, The Rock doing very well now. Got all kinds of stuff. Got Terramana, right? His, um, His tequila. He's got the wrestling stuff again going on. Movies, I think. Hit movies. Hit, hit movies. Disney uh-huh. movies. Jumanji. All of the stuff. Jumanji. Or... I like Jumanji. I don't know about the Black Adam one. I did not see that, but uh, I know that he was in that DC movie, Black Adam. Today, I learned Arlington, Texas is the largest city in the United States of America without public transport. Despite having 390,000 people in its population in major stadiums, it has no single bus or rail line anywhere in the city, which seems quite unfortunate. Uh, did I learn this all? Girls just want to have fun. That's right. Girls just want to have fun by Cindy Lauper is a cover that was originally written and recorded by George Hazard way back in 1979, and is switched up for Cindy Lauper and was a big, big hit for her. Finally, today I learned this band right here. Take uh, oh, come on. Us. Type of no. a car. Uh, the, uh, Mustang. Chevrolet. Mustang Sally. The Chevelle, Chevelle is correct. Yes. The band Chevelle, like many other rock bands that went mainstream, started out as a Christian band. They had an album called The Blue Album back in 1998. After that, in 2000 and 2001, they became an alternative rock band and left the Christian music scene behind. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We do appreciate it. We're back tomorrow, same time, same place. Miss any of the show? Get the podcast at thenewsjunkie.com. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Yeah.